Okay. Oh. Right. And so, we're live. Well, I usually try to do a Christmas song the last one. With with no song, Nick. Do, 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 you know, Nick, do, I, do, 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 do. I, I I commend you because every week you get, you know, you 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 try. You do so much for the show. <laughs> Thanks. You, I mean, really, you do. Uh, next to Jack, who I get, no, I get no thanks from Jack. It's just always disappointment. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, because no you you spoiled me. You had a string where you had a song every it, single time, and and now you're t it's it's like you it's like you know okay, it's like you give me you're like you give Chris, me candy. You're picking a week off. Yeah, <laughs> you give me candy every day, and then one day you say, nope, no more candy. That's that's you. That's you. And your candy right. is heroin. Yes, <laughs> it's addicting. <laughs> No, Nick, I, I, I speak highly of you but behind your back all the time. You just don't. Know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. I, I don't like compliments. so That's good. Well, that's why I don't give them. I, yeah. I know you don't <laughs> like them. So. I did invite Jay, but Jay's, he could show up late. We never know. Yeah, yeah, here I am. I, am here. I, I, don't, I, I just imagine Nick and Jay on the same podcast together. It's going to be fireworks. We, we, we're civil with each other. Sybil, <laughs> when we're face to face, sure, face to face. Well, Colleen, Colleen yesterday suggested on Survivor that we do a reunion show with Taffy. I'm like, oh, oh I, I guess I could ask him. Like, oh, well. I don't really, I don't, I mean, it's not that I, I don't go out. I mean, we talk to each other on our birthdays, but oh, he's got sure. his life, I got my life, right. and I just don't, I just don't, I got grandkids every day, I, I just mm -hmm. don't have time. I don't want to be nice to anybody once I'm done. <laughs> it, it's 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 funny how just getting older that that shit happens too. You know, it does. It's, it's, it's and easy. Yeah, I've been try, like I, I've got a few friends that are you know, around thirty, and I've been trying to prepare them for a while now. I was like, you realize that like your friends that you have now are not going to be your friends in ten years. Mm -hmm. I was like, because they're going to get married at different times, they're going to have kids at different times, and they're going to hang out with those people. So just mm -hmm. get used to it. Your there, friends are no, going to be dwindling. There's no real book on how to get how to get older. They just only if, only advice anyone ever gives you is, hey, don't get old, kid. Yeah. And you go, yeah. All right. Thanks. My only option on that one is to die. Um, and, and now I'm saying it. Don't get old, kid. Mm. Because I don't, what am I supposed to say? No one ever told me what the. My, uh, my neighbor, he always says, uh, you know, oh, hey, you know, um, I'll say, have a good day. And he'll say, every day is a good day <laughs> when I'm on this side of the earth. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Every day is a good day when I'm six feet above the ground. Oh, so when, I, you know, like, when I'm not for me. When I'm not in it. Yeah. Like so. <laughs> yeah. Um, and he he's had a tree fall on him. He's had oh, a heart shit. attack. Like he's, really? He's, he's, yeah. He just won't die. He's <laughs> he's exactly thirty years older than me, too. Really? So he's oh, yeah, wow. we're, he's like eighty. Yeah. We're um what? Yeah. Uh, Thanks. Yeah. Well, you know, we, we've messed with your age so much. I don't know how <laughs> old you are. I know. Me either. <laughs> He's 45 or 46. You're 48, right? Let's just keep it a, in. I'm in the beginning of my middle to late 40s. Yeah. <laughs> so, so it's close to it's close to he's close to 80 years old. Is he born on the um, same day? Right. I am. I'm in the stew. Of the, my forties, I'm in the stew of life. <laughs> it's so well, I was I was thinking about this the other day. Like, there's certain things that it's like you want to stew to to simmer and to like kind of you know simmer simmer to like like it builds over time. You right. know, you don't um, want to heat, you don't want heat too fast, right? Because it burns the stew. You, it, it, I always tell my wife, you gotta have patience when you're cooking. Patience. Right. But like a diamond, to make a diamond, you want pressure. Yeah. You know, so anybody can make like a diamond two. these days. What's up? So anyone can make a diamond these days. It's like let's, I, I still don't get it. Well, I was looking at it. I was looking at a graph it's the other just day. Something I was thinking about. No, I but I just don't get the di why diamonds are so valuable. I, they're not worth anything. They're it's a, not it's anything. a racket. It's a racket. Yeah. 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 What made them worth something was the the illegal distribution. I mean, shipping from Africa to here. Blood, then, blood diamonds, right? Blood diamonds, yeah. But like, but now, like, you can even like anyone who dies, you know, I, I could be like, oh, I want Matt cremated, and then I want Shit. all his ashes compacted to no. make a diamond. Okay, as long as you use it to cut into a bank. Yeah, to a bank. <laughs> <laughs> so, what would you use Matt's diamond? Would you use it to cut into a bank? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. 
into like the heart of the ocean. Yeah, I just hold on to it. Oh, you just oh, throw you, it. So you just there. throw it in the dark yeah, sea. Wow. <laughs> right. You could just take Thinking my of you, Matt. You could just <laughs> take my dog tags, Maverick, and you know. Right. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, um, well, happy birthday to like, your your niece there, Jackson Glaffelder. Mm. But yeah, like the uh, the just speaking of just one last on diamonds. I was looking at a graph like two days ago. It just popped up in my feed somewhere. It's talking about how um, the demand for artificial diamonds has really risen because they're so much cheaper than uh, natural diamonds. That you know you can get you know your fiance like a two or three carat uh, fake. It's not a fake. It's a real diamond, but it's just not a. It's just an artificial diamond. Uh, so it's people are getting that instead of trying to get a, a real one. Cindy always goes, "Aren't they so beautiful?" I'm like going. I don't get it. I don't, I don't, mm. It doesn't do anything for me. I go, I shiny. She goes, you don't. I go. I'm not a big jewelry person. You me know, neither. I, I mean, I wear a ring because I have to. Oh, because mm. I want to. Yep. And um, I have my uncle's horseshoe ring, which I used to wear all the time. But I had that thing where I got hit in hockey and all blood went everywhere. So I just, I don't get it. I don't get the jewelry. I used to wear a necklace that went around and had a oh, yeah. mm -hmm. a cross, but. I just, I'm just not a jewelry. I don't get, I don't get the, it just doesn't do anything for me. I know. I'm the same. I'm saying, like. and if it does it for you, I'm not saying that's wrong. I'm just saying yeah. personally, we're not robots. I don't enjoy it. Yeah, like the only piece of jewelry I've ever owned or purchased is I, I did have a college class ring made. I've never worn it. <laughs> well, maybe one, because maybe I, that's why you'd never wear jewelry anymore. You know, I don't wear jewelry. You, <laughs> You well, one, I got it. I got it too big for my finger at the time because I was super skinny, you know, when I was 23. And now, now you're fat. I could actually wear it. I know, but I could actually <laughs> wear it now. I couldn't wear it then. Wow. But the thing is, Don't is that back the, check. Yeah, the, uh, the gold. <laughs> I'm the trying is, to get more compliments. The thing is, gold has increased in value so much since then, 20 years ago, that if I sold that thing now, I could probably get a grand for it. Uh, yeah. Just, but not, I don't, I wouldn't want to sell it though. Why not? I don't know. It's just sentimental. Value. Sentimental. Yeah. Uh, Sherry heard a story of a man that proposed to a girl with a ring that was made out of the ashes of his mother. Oh fuck! Hmm. Yeah, that's a, okay. that's a that's a hard pass. Huh. I mean, I yeah, I hope she said no. Well, how did she know? It? How did how did you know? Unless he actually said, "This is my mother." <laughs> well, <laughs> it, it, it maybe it wasn't done properly, and there were some bones sticking up. Maybe I don't know. You know how sometimes it's not all fine. Huh. But, uh, well. I Will think Fry. I think maybe he probably told her, you know, or something like that. So, uh, Will Fry says my wife works jewelry advertising is not just the price. Younger people also prefer lab grown diamonds over natural because of the stigma. Huh? Blood blood diamonds. Oh, blood diamonds. Yeah. No, they're just cheap. Um, <laughs> let's see. And Sherry she says hated she okay. hated it. Verdict hated said. it. I mean, it just pass. Well, that's what was funny. And um... well, how did well how uh, wait was that? Go saying with that Go lady. Ahead. When you you're doing something like that, you're showing that you're. I mean, your mother should mean something to you know. Sure. Uh, yeah. But your wife yeah. doesn't want to be second fiddle. Right? right. So when you yeah. do, you're doing that. My what? My mom means everything to me more than mm -hmm. you. Right. Right. I mean, you can believe it, but you can't say it. Well, it's also like, hey, you know, my mom's dead. I want you to wear her on you at all times. You know, it's yeah. like. It's just weird. Kind of weird. What if you're having what if you're having sex and you grab the hand? I mean, it's like, right. it's like oh, mom. Sure. And, you, and what if you say or mom instead what, of what if what if what if, what if she loses it? You know, she, you lost my mom. That my was mom. Yeah. Made out of my mom. I can't get that. I didn't even think about that, Matt. That's a lot of pressure. Well, you guys saw that, didn't you? Pressure. Where um, I, I think the guy cheated Great on his solo. girlfriend and she I'm, to get back at him, took his mom's ashes and dumped yes, them over. I, yeah. I, that's hmm. wrong. She got like two years for that, though. Oh, did she? Oh. Yeah, because it's whatever state they were in, and it's probably common in most states. It's the illegal. Uh, well, one, it's a it's a vindictive crime, and it's also hmm. like the disposal of human remains in a public area. You know, yeah. it sucks. It sucks to do something like that, but you know, she gets two years, and other people, you know, I know get nothing. Kill yeah. people, or you're drunk driving, you get thirty days. You rape somebody. We've seen people get, hmm. you know four months, five months. That's a, that's steep. I mean, it's a shitty thing she did, mm -hmm. but I don't know. Um, so 
happy happy days are here again uh the holidays are around oh us. those happy days i don't know i'm just i said they're bringing back happy days I'm trying okay. to hey. I was trying to decipher that one too i was, like, whoa, whoa. I was just trying to liven it after like, i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna jump the shark with my rascal <laughs> <laughs> you know it's funny because like when i you know i hadn't, I hadn't seen henley Wink, winkler in years you know Who? until in henley the, Henry, Henry, Henry. I just, I was messing with you. Yeah. You would have done the same. Yeah, he said, he said Henley, didn't he? Did I say Henley? Okay, he, I mean, he said Don Henley. Henley. You know, Don. you know, Henley Winkler. Yeah. Don Henley Winkler. Well, I mean, I remembered him as a <laughs> as a kid from Happy Days and maybe something else, but he, he was, ne- he, was he was never right he was never a, he was never a kid on Happy Days. I don't know what. Right, but I mean, I remember as me as a kid. Not so okay, right. okay, okay. Yeah, but you know, I didn't. It wasn't until The Water Boy where I was like, oh shit, there's the LaFonz. You know, like, uh, that's mm. kind of. You ever like, watched what? anything other than. I don't remember him in anything else because probably. Arrested Development. He, that's development true. Arrested Development. But I think, yeah, I think The was... Water Boy came out before. Arrested yes, it did. So, mm-hmm. Did it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, but Water Boy came out before. before um... Where's Matt Treese? I don't know. I know. He usually shows up like a good 20 minutes into the show. So yeah, you, I, I know you guys have never seen Night Shift, which I keep telling you to watch. It's I've seen hilarious. Night Shift. Get off my fucking case. I'm not. T- I'm talking about the Chris, kids. It was Chris and me. The yeah, kid. Oh, okay, the kids, because I'm I'm just four years older than them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I know you. I know you've seen it, but they have not seen it, and it's hilarious. And it, again, he plays a completely different character. Than he did in the Fonz, and this is when he was right. still. I think they were still doing Happy Days, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and he. It was like you're watching, it going, "That's not the Fonz." It's when he was stupid, Miss Mrs. C. Yeah, <laughs> it's Ellie Lamar. Lamar. <laughs> um. Anyway, Matt, you were saying it's Happy Holidays, or it's Happy. I, I don't know. I just was trying to change it from dumping ashes on to I don't know, just oh, okay stuff. So well, I mean. I'm sure I'm not sure if y'all saying it. I mean, it was like a 96 movie or 97. It's called like Beautiful Women or Beautiful Girls. And it's like a full of like 90s actors. But oh yeah. There's, there's, Beautiful a, girl. there's a scene in it where this guy is like thinking about proposing to his girlfriend at the time, and they're like, What do you guys think of this? And he shows them the ring, and all the guys are like, It's fucking brown, dude. <laughs> you know, and he's like, No, it's champagne, it's the new taste, you know. And he's like, She's gonna say no if you give her a fucking brown rock, dude. <laughs> Go to hell. Like, Beautiful yeah. girls. Could, okay. Well, true love only goes so far. Yeah, I think it's beautiful girls. Nineteen ninety six. Matt Matt Dillon. Matt Dillon. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Do it for Johnny, man. Do it Jennifer for Beth Gish. Johnny. Lauren Holly. Rosie O'Donnell is in it. Rosie O'Donnell. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Natalie Portman Martha, had a little Martha bit Pimpton. part. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who's Holly? What? Who's um, in? Lord Holly. What's that? Who? Who? What? Holly. Uh, Martha Pimpton, Lauren Holly. Uh, and Lauren Holly used to be, Gish. she just disappeared. Like I was saying, like you watched that Trippie movie Hutton. and pretty much every actor that's in it has disappeared. You're like, where the Okay, fuck I'm looking that? up the other thing. Water Boy. Hmm. Uh, what year did that come out? What do, what do you guys 98. think? 98. Okay. Jack 97 or 98. I, I say 2000. I think I was in Raleigh, so I think 2002. 1998. Really? Nick had it, yeah. Was a very good year. Yeah, and yeah. Arrested Development is definitely like uh, post 9 11. So yeah. okay. start out in 2000. Because right. you have I to think thought. of Adam Sandler films, because you have to like Happy Gilmore and Billy mm-hmm. Madison came out roughly the same time. Yeah. And you know that's mid 90s. So it's like give it another two years, like 97, 98. So you're like, okay. okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Mama says, <laughs> mama, 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 mama says. I mean, mama he was says. on a roll when you think about it. As in, like, yeah, mm. Billy Madison, Happy Gilmore, Water Boy, then um, Big Daddy. Like those four films were just massive. Mm. And then something happened. Um, <laughs> I think he, well, I think he, he the, start phoning it in. The uh, now I, I was listening to uh, Conan O'Brien's podcast, uh, and he was interviewing Robert Smigel, Smigel, Robert Siegel, Robert Smigel. Smigel, he makes the Saturday TV Funhouse uh, cartoons. TV Funhouse, uh, right? He wrote and directed the uh, animated movie Leo that came out, and it's got the voice of Adam Sandler. Leo. And they they talk about that, and it's it's apparently it's gotten a lot of traction and buzz. It's on Netflix yeah. right now. Been meaning to watch it, so um, definitely like it's a called fun. Le- it's called Leo. Leo, mm-hmm. I have. I think it's a lizard, maybe. So. Oh. 
but Adam Sandler does the voice and Robert Smigel. Oh, I hope I'm I think saying probably, that right. I think probably he does Sandler. triumph the uh, comic dog, which they talk. Oh, about. oh, he's the one that does that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, he, that yep. is so, that, that, and that, he also helped like get Conan O'Brien. Like, like he was one of the main writers when they first got off the ground and going. And okay, I knew he worked. For, I knew he worked for Conan so, O'Brien. But... Yeah, and he was on SNL too. So yeah, but well, that, that is fabulous. Yeah, no, it was a, it was a fun fun interview. Um, mm-hmm. My podcast time in the morning. It's like when i'm when i'm driving into work but i'm done i'm officially done i don't have to drive in i have homework to do i have stuff to grade Mm -hmm. but i can i made a mistake it's a happy mistake but i thought the last day was december 6th for my class but it's actually monday december 11th but Mm. it's already on the syllabus and we already had our last day so oh wow none of my students really seem to care that's coming out soon Oh, Ghost Ghost Sorry, Ghost yeah, Ghostbusters. I didn't know yeah. when the actual date was. I haven't even still haven't seen the trailer. I mean, oh, I'll, yeah, go, I'll, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go watch it. But you know, it's just twenty-eight. Bill Murray's in it. Yeah, yeah that's right. But how long is he in it? I thought that I, there was something I learned. I saw it on just one of those one of random things that pops up in your feed. Where you remember the first Ghostbusters? You know, there's a commercial that uh, Dana's watching. You know, it's like you know, we're ready to believe you. Well, mm-hmm. apparently, like towards the end of the theatrical run of Ghostbusters, they was making so much money, they wanted to keep it going in theaters. And so the director actually released that commercial on oh, just, uh, just on as TV. A, oh, that's but cool. they changed the number from a 555 to an actual real phone number. And then oh, when you shit. called it, you got a voice message uh, from uh, Bill Murray and Dan Aykroyd. Oh, wow. Uh, saying like, you know, we're out, ghost, busting ghosts at the moment, blah, 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 you know, and like, and so I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. I didn't know that. I, I, I did not remember that or know that. Mm. It's like what Jenny's eight, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, three, oh, nine. The three, oh, nine, eight, eight, six, seven, why am I trying? Eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine. People were calling that number. Oh, no doubt. And yeah. people were like going, no, no, no. <laughs> Jenny's not uh, here. <laughs> real, real quick on the Ghostbusters train. Uh, Ernie Hudson who mm-hmm. is in the new Quantum Leap, um, oh, and that's nice. back. So, Oh, they brought Jack, it back? You... Yeah, it's like yeah a, there's another season. I, I, a year ago I, or so. I stopped yeah. after the fifth episode. Oh, you did? Oh, okay. The, I, okay. I think we talked about the acting was just so bad. I just was like going, yeah. I, could, I, couldn't get, I couldn't get through it. I, I stuck with it. Um, I'm in it for the, for the... My kids, for whatever reason, started watching it. Oh, they were yeah, like they were wanting to watch like it. it, and and so yeah, it's it's so weird, and so I'm kind of more like, okay, what's going on? You know, so I'll do stuff, but I'll have it on kind of in the background, and you I, know, I know the, I know the major kind of uh, uh, storyline that's going on in the background. Um, but season one, it ends, and and my daughter is such a, it's funny because you know it's just like if it ends on a cliffhanger, she's just so distraught. It's just like, Oh my gosh. <laughs> like the entire time we watched Loki, it was just like, Oh my God, I can't oh. believe it. Oh my God. And then Loki finally ends and she's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like she liked all of the other episodes that ended on a cliffhanger better than, than the final. Because um, the cliffhanger, but the final is what pulled it together and made it make sense. But, but the cliffhanger I, I is, all, is always like, Oh, Okay, I need to know more. It's, it's yeah. right. It's, that's what it's, Lost it's, is. Drugs that, are crazy. So yeah, we but they finish you know, like, they they, they finish season one, and it ends on a satisfying note. And um, and I was like, that's it. Like, don't you don't have to watch anymore, Maggie. You're done. Like, don't watch the next season. Like, just be, you know, because you know it's going to be, you know, keep you on the edge. Of well, your I think season, usually so. because the cliffhanger is better than the conclusion. Yeah, of the story. The, the quantum leap is set up to be such a, a non serialized show because it can you can just leave, you know each each episode leave wherever story. it wants to go right but then they have the big the bigger kind of storyline playing out in the background so it kind of lends itself to maybe maybe I, I'm, I'm out so. of shows right now so maybe I'll uh don't well I got two things to say but like uh I I tried to give a Netflix show called the night agent a try because it's trending okay and i couldn't really get through the first episode i finished the first episode but it was just too typical 
Mm-hmm. Like, you know, he's he's a he's a disgraced kind of FBI agent. He's been delegated to being like the so it's a true story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but like he he's been delegated to being like the uh the basically the night secretary if you know if a, if a secret, if an undercover who, agent I, I think somebody, I was going to watch that. Who's in that? No one that you uh recognize other than the only person I've recognized in it so far is the that guy who played like the, the T1000, you know, uh <laughs> in Terminator 2. Uh um, Robert Patson? Right. Yeah, Robert Patrick. Patrick. Yeah. Um, See, I did one I know, of your things. I know him. Where, yeah, you would just butcher names. But yeah, I mean, I'm, I'll give it one more episode to see if I like it or not, really. But it, so far, it's just kind of like, oh, okay, I can see where this is going. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, and then speaking of cliffhangers, uh, so for anyone out there, I think Jay coined this term. So for anyone who's ever hung out with Cliff Armstrong, who was a guest on last week's episode, it had been a Oop. while. <laughs> yeah, it had been a while since I had hung out with Cliff for such an extended period of time, and I'd forgotten about cliffhangers. Which are, it's basically when Cliff is in his head, in his own head, he doesn't, he wants to tell a story. He doesn't tell the beginning of the story, nor does he tell the end of the story. He just tells the middle of the story. And he, you're expected to understand what he's talking about. Because <laughs> hmm. I think he, he's so, he's so focused on the story, making sure he gets it right, he forgets the beginning and the end. Yeah. And oh. so I'm, I'm sitting there watching, um, one of the college football games on Saturday. And uh, he just, he, I don't know. All he said though was, you know, I've looked into getting a meat delivery. <laughs> and that was it. You know, and his I, dad, you've met his dad, right? No, I've never met. I know, he uh, has told me multiple stories about his dad, and his mom and his sister, but I've never met any of them. His dad is the same way. His sister is, is, is not like Cliff. Yeah. That's what he's told me. Yeah. But uh, basically what he was thinking is that he was recalling Chris in his mind about the hot dogs. Oh, the hot dog. And so in his Mm. mind, he was thinking, well, you know, Chris gives me so much shit about that. I've looked into meat delivery. I was thinking about sending him some stuff to his home one day. (laughs) But all I heard was I've looked into meat delivery. Wow. (laughs) Well, at least he, he, you know, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. So yeah, I, I, I know I told this. Laugh. I know I told the story before how Cliff almost killed me. Uh, um, just came to Raleigh. I was playing my first game. Game there. I said, "Hey, Cliff, do you sharpen my skates?" He goes, "Sure." I don't like to sharpen my own skates. I can sharpen skates, but I don't like to sharpen my own. And he put such a deep. I don't like a hollow. I barely a hollow. It's it's where the edge like this. He put like a death hollow in it. I'm skating down. I go to stop. And my skates just lock in the ice, and I go head oh, first into wow. the board. Boom! Oh, wow. I go, what the hell? And I was like, I go, get off the ice. I go, what? I go, oh my God. <laughs> You're going to kill me. I, 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 I had to get yeah. off the ice and have them flatten it out. Wow. So I could skate. But yeah, Cliff goes, I, I thought you wanted the, the advanced hollow. I go, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I go, just put the same hollows in hmm. there before, which is just basically almost like a goalie cut where it just. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anyway, but that that's just uh my cliff story. No, that's uh, that's great. Um, even if I don't understand what those blades mean. So the hollow yeah, it's, it's I can get this like yeah. look at like a uh like a, a loop. Yeah. In the you have your two blade the two ends of the blades have to be level. Yeah. And okay. that you you take it to the wrong person sometimes that they sharpen and they're like this. No. One side, it, it, you can't skate that way they have to be level mm-hmm. and some people like a deeper hollow where it's you know it's more edge you get the blade di- it's more, almost like a razor blade mm-hmm. i like a flatter hollow so it's mm-hmm. not like that because right. i don't skate properly mm-hmm. so <laughs> i don't want to you know I, I taught myself how to skate so it's just different and a goalie <laughs> is like a flat hollow it's it, there's no hollow it's just flat it's just a mm-hmm. yeah, dull blade just, yeah because yeah. you know he doesn't want to get stuck he wants to be able to slide back and forth. He doesn't want to stick in the ice. Mm-hmm. So it's okay. just, it's, it's, and figure skaters, that's all different how they want it done. And don't ever take off the toe pick because they'll be pissed. So <laughs> wait, wait, those are figure skaters. Yeah. Oh, we're right. Yeah, okay. skate, sometimes you nick that toe pick and you go, oh, shit. Mm. Uh, how do I sh- dull this up so it doesn't look like I did it? Not that I ever did it. I, I mean, anyway. Yeah. Uh, Matt Tree says he needs meat delivery, so he'll never be short a hot dog again. 
And then Sherry says, to be able to tell a story from beginning to middle and then to end in a comma, a common occurrence of people with ADD, he may want to get that checked out. I think he tried. Before, he gets, before he gets worse. I think he tried, but he, he, he just forgot about it. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah. So. Uh, anyway. Anyway. Three oh, different things that I, my brain was was going towards. So mm -hmm. go ahead. Oh well, maybe, I was just saying maybe like I should get, maybe I should get a meat delivery. <laughs> uh, that should be the title of the episode. It was a good. It was a good. It was a good, uh, it was a good trip though with with Cliff. I mean, Cliff was funny because he I'd never seen a grown man, and I told him about this. I never cry. seen a grown man go through so many tissues in my life. Oh, he, <laughs> and, he... uh, well, and. And I kind of went, Cliff, it's a damn good thing I know you. Because, like, anyone that walked in and saw this pile of tissues here, I'd be like, what the fuck have you been doing? <laughs> you know, yeah, like, he, when we used to occur, he was the, uh, the uh, what was the thing he called himself? The, the hybrid? Hybrid. I would uh, literally just bring him a box of Kleenex and put it by where he was recording. Because he was, our cats, he's like... <laughs> Yeah. You know, and I put a trash can there with a bag, and he just throw them in there. Well, what was funny about it is that he he didn't take me he didn't take me seriously when he got here. I was like, hey, I was like, you we're coming into winter, and it's really dry, so I'm, I put a humidifier in your bedroom. Mm -hmm. You know, here's how you fill it up. This is how you use it. You're gonna need to turn this on every night when you go to sleep, because otherwise your sinuses are gonna dry out and you'll blow out blood in the morning. He's ah, I'll be okay. You know, and the next day he's like, fuck, you weren't lying. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> You know, uh, yeah, so he, he quickly learned how to use that. But uh, anyway, we, we went to Estes Park and I showed him um, the Stanley Hotel, which is where The Shining was written. Um, and mm, okay. uh, yeah, and then I took him a little bit into uh, Rocky Mountain National Park, you know, but you know, of course, there's snow everywhere. So we, we couldn't really explore too much without proper gear. But... Didn't see any bears or bison. Or... No. Did you see Lawman uh, Bass Reeves? Because nice. Jack keeps putting this same. <laughs> I, I keep, well, I keep forgetting to read it. So. <laughs> There, there's just five words, Jack. That's the name. That's the name of the show. Lama, Lama and Bass Reeves is really good. I talked about it before. It's on Paramount Plus, I believe. Yes, Paramount um, Plus. Yeah, it's it's mm -hmm. excellent. It's and it's getting to the point where it's the, the cliffhanger. Yeah, <laughs> was really good. So we shall see. It's only eight episodes. It, it, well. It's, Taylor Sheridan only does so many episodes. I'm, I, I know I, I know I told you guys when he was on the cut, where we're going to go to the movies and, and watch a movie. And I'm just going to tell you, it's the best movie of the year. Um, mm -hmm. It won't win, but of, you know, in a year of 2023, when there wasn't really that many good movies, no. uh, Godzilla minus one is superb. Oh, is it? Cool. Yeah, it's, it's all in Jap Japanese. So you're going to have to read subtitles, but Jack's out. I'm feeling Japanese. I really think so. <laughs> Did I think so? Yeah. Uh, it's very good. That's um, cool. And, uh, I I was a huge Godzilla fan as a kid. I loved I I would because they were like on Saturday. Again, after, I, Saturday I feel like it's I would sit like there and watch Godzilla loses though. It's minus one. It's like well, you know. we we died laughing because uh, we could not figure out the for the life of us why it was called minus one. Yeah. And at the end, there's a certain character that has like a bandage and you're not sure if they lost an eye or not, but you're like, mm. maybe that's the minus one. They lost an eye. <laughs> <You> know, <laughs> like we, but I what actually looked, I, I looked it up and I think it's just one of those things that's lost in translation. Uh, mm. It is a Japanese mm. film. And that okay. what they mean is, is because it's happening right after World War II. And so mm -hmm. they mean that like Japan is not, at max strength, they're actually you know below where they should be to defend against Godzilla. So they're Godzilla minus one. What what caused that? And I was like, huh. what caused them to be down? Yeah, I don't know. So so it's like a you're saying it's like a handicap in golf. Mm -hmm. it's like Godzilla minus one. Like we yeah, got it's a handicap. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but they, it's it's, they, it's it's Godzilla didn't give him a mulligan. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Well, I mean, isn't Godzilla brought about because of of us using the atomic bomb? Like, isn't there a connection with that? So, um, yeah, speaking of Star Trek. Um, well, John says Godzilla was always on as a kid, just like Star Trek. Well, I was yeah. going to ask. I had a question about Godzilla. Yeah. Mm. Obviously, there's more than one because I've seen the movies. He gets he's killed. He's son of Godzilla. Godzilla. He, he regenerates. Mm -hmm. he rege is that what it is? It's just yeah. the same Godzilla? Right. Same Godzilla. Godzilla. Yeah. You can't kill Godzilla. You can't just, once he's dead, burn him and just, you know, no. take his DNA. I mean, only Superman. Superman 
tossing him into the sun could essentially kill Godzilla. Ah, Cause when, and where does he go? I mean, is he, does he, I know it comes out the of inner the earth. Yeah. He lives like oh, in the inner earth. Yeah. Okay. Inner earth. Okay. He lives it's like, like that, Shangri-La for yeah, that's the only monsters. questions I had. It's a, uh, but it's it, a, it, I have not lost. seen a movie perfectly blend action monsters and human condition. <laughs> And war. I was really, I was really hoping Christmas was going to be one of those. Things. But Christmas, how did you know? <laughs> Action, it comes, it comes horror, back at the end. Like once the, once they get rid of Godzilla, comedy. he comes back and he's wearing like some 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 ornaments and stuff. Yeah, and he's like, he's hey. like yeah, he's like singing a song with a digitally remastered B- song, Bing Crosby. Yeah. I'm dreaming. <laughs> get over here, kids! Smack, smack! Of a white Christmas. It's David Bowie, Bing Crosby, and Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> well, th- now let's th- now let's do the duet. Mm. Right? Well, I guess one would have to step aside, but well, I, don't, well, I can't imagine well, Godzilla singing. Mm. Ah! Well, yeah, he would just. I mean, yeah, would just no, go. Yoko Ono plays. Yoko Ono comes in and sings. Okay, <laughs> David Bowie, Godzilla, Yoko Ono, and Bing Crosby. It's yeah. a quartet. Well, I'm saying Yoko Ono sings for. That's a quartet. If you had, let's say, a band singing with David Bowie, it would be the band and David Bowie. It wouldn't be quite a duet, but you know, Stop what being so the bitter, fuck man. do I know? Stop being so bitter. You know what? You're so bitter. We're going to take a commercial break. Ouch. Fine. 31, 21. Uh, go ahead. Uh, oh, I can read you the, uh, the results of the verses oh. if you want. Okay. All, All right. right. So and much to my surprise for the green dump the one. two, three, and four, but not so much for number one. But uh in fourth place with okay. five measly five. votes. Wow. Five. Five was okay. dreams. Okay. That's who, who, who voted for dreams? I voted. I voted. Was it you? I was thinking it was Jack. Okay. Yeah. No, 51, I, I 50. Took, uh, I have a soft spot for that. I took um Right on, right now, right, right now. now. All right, yeah, it should in, have been four. in third place <laughs> with seven votes. Uh huh, is right now. Fuck yeah, it should have been fourth. Yeah, uh, I'll just keep on dreaming to my shock. Yeah, because I thought I would be in fourth. Okay, uh, in second you... place with 11 votes was yeah. Ain't Talking About Love. Okay, Ain't and, Talking and, About Love. That's a great song. Chris, and, Chris wins with Jump. Oh, yeah, with a, with a massive. Yeah, yeah. I knew jump. Was, I knew jump over the four. I said jump yeah. will win. But I, I actually, I was shocked. Jay Glatfeltler actually voted for oh. "Ain't Talking About Love." Wow, so. ain't talking about love. Well, it's if he shows up, we could have another versus. But uh, that's true. Yeah, I guess we'll just have to wait. And all those people don't listen to the show. I'm sorry. Apologize that we have nothing for you this week. No, no versus. I mean it. it it stands to reason that we have to have a four, a four versus. And well, and it should be the person that won. Yeah, that you know. I think this I mean, happened we tried last to, night, didn't it? Where he won. Well, the, we tried to do that to that me. Was me. I think the, Jack, one, the one week Jay, I won. Yeah, Jay did that to. Uh, and Jay did, did Jay, that dumb Star Wars one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that was a dumb one. Will Fry has taste. I voted for right now. Not to, okay, come on, Will Fry. Yeah, right. Get out there and do some drugs, man. Right now. No. Come on, do it. You know what? It's not even my favorite. It's not even my favorite. Hey, mm. Gar- Van Gar song, but I, I just it just popped in my head, so I said. Mm. Anyway, I did have a I did have a couple stories I want to tell. Um, my garage door broke again. Oh fuck! And, I didn't have and, and, with and, my garage door. And, and I, I, so I take the kids to I take the kid one kid to school. I bring the other two kids back, mm-hmm. and the garage door won't open all the way. I go, what the hell? I go, yeah. okay, did something fall and and is blocking the mm-hmm. thing? I get in there. I go, no. I go, okay, something broke. And about two years ago, we had to replace this plastic wheel. Uh, oh, he's got the wheel here. Please tell me uh, you have the it's wheel. Kinda like, it's kind of like this, but it's not. I, I thought okay. I saved the wheel, but I think my grandson took it. It's like it's like this, it's a plastic wheel. So oh, It looks like a Lego piece there. It does. It's, it's, it's actually to my walking stick. Oh, you have a walking stick? I do now, because sometimes my leg goes numb and I... <laughs> so anyway, I... I like to blame. I think they make a pill for that. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work. <laughs> I I got one I got one leg that's firm. The other two legs are still wobbly. So uh, it, just, it, it just doesn't work when you're walking. Uh, so I I go on Amazon, of course, and they're taking size like four days. 
I do grease it all the time. Sherry, I do. Oh, now, now you get me mad, Sherry. Now you get me mad. You have to grease your overhead wheel door wheels. That's right. Mm -hmm. I do it like twice a year. Yeah. So there. Anyway, so I keep I, that I, chain lubricated. Yeah, sure. you have to. So I, I go, I can't go four days. It's a pain in the ass. I got to take the kids out to the front, run them back. You know, I said, put them in the garage. It's just a pain in the ass. And it's just like, anyway. So we had ordered the part like two years ago and I replaced it. So I look on Home Depot. They have the part. Oh. So I, so I go to Home Depot. I bring the part in. It was mm. broken right here. And he goes, I go, yeah, I, I, I looked over in your garage door section and I don't see the part I'm looking for, but it says on your website you have it. He goes, well, you should never trust our website. It's always wrong. I go, I go, but that's like what everybody does. He goes, I know, but it's always wrong. Always. Don't, just don't trust the website for anything anymore. I go, <laughs> okay. So then I hand him the part. He goes, plastic. Did you know the earth was flat? Yeah. <laughs> he goes, he goes, I think he was older than me. He goes, plastic, plastic. <laughs> Are you sure it's plastic? I go. This, this is this guy part. definitely taught industrial arts yeah. in like this, some 1950s. Yeah, this is the part, and he goes, "Why don't you get a metal one?" I go, "I tried a metal one. It doesn't fit into the 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 guy." Well, you can make guide. yourself it, one if you just have a tin. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, and he goes, he kept going, and he kept complaining about the plastic. <laughs> he kept going on and on and on. I finally said, "You know, I didn't design it. That right. was Cham that was Chamberlain." He goes, "Oh yeah, of course you didn't design it. I know that, <laughs> but uh." It just shouldn't be plastic. I go, well, it is. I go, uh, <laughs> he goes, it's just going to break again. I go, I know. Unless you, unless you grease the thing 35 times a year. Grease it good. <laughs> I, I have, I have trouble with my garage door opener. Um, be, because when it gets really, really cold, I think something freezes up in the lens. And um. so, so it mm. thinks that something's in there when there's how, nothing. How old? How old are your uh, lasers? I don't know. They're pretty old. I mean, they're you get, like you, you get they're like nineteen eighties Star Wars old. That's how old. When we had our garage are. replaced, he yeah. just kept the lasers on there. Yeah, go ahead and keep the lasers on there. Yeah, and it worked for a while, but after a while, they got old and they weren't. It would go up, boom, boom. It wouldn't go up. It would go down. I, I've and I, 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 I finally after like two years of running into the house. Having to re close it it's that like way. you get it like dun, 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 and yeah. then I'm playing a game with it where it's like eh, 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 I eh, got new lasers. Eh, it, it it took me 20 minutes to connect. I don't have fro am I still frozen? Yeah, yes. you are. And I'm but still you active. can hear me. But yeah. after I put that, it, it's, it's, it hasn't it has not not worked since. I I think just get the new laser. Go on Amazon. Get the new like lasers. Twenty bucks. Get the lasers. I yeah, need. I should have more. I should have 21st century fucking lasers. I'm living in the 20th century. You should, but uh, these parts are made so cheap that, you know. Yeah, I know. I'm afraid that if I get a new garage door, it's going to be made out of plastic. So, and I keep the rails. I even keep the wheels greased in mine. You know, yeah, I do. Sure I do too. I, I grease everything. But mm -hmm. I, again, it's a piece of plastic that's not designed right. He just, I go. You know, I'm kind of in a hurry this here, is, too. I'd be like, okay, you don't have it? Fine. Let me go. And he's, ah, plastic. Ah, you know, rah, 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 rah. the tension. There's too much tension on it. I go, I know. <laughs> I know. I know. It's just, it's just going to break in. I go, I know. This is like the third oh. time I've had to replace it. I know. I know. I know. I fucking know is what I'm saying in my head. But you know, he's helping me. I don't want to be rude. Anyway, uh, can you can you share something on on my screen here? Jack? He can't he can't even move. How can I, yeah, I don't see the chair. I don't see the share thing. Let's see. Oh, uh, Matt, then Matt I, left. Okay. I'm frozen. Um, I think I. You know what? I'm gonna zap out and come back in. Okay. This is just gonna be me. Just <laughs> well, there's no Matt. <laughs> there, oh, I'm no. back. Okay. Great. I was look. I was so looking forward to being Garth in that moment. It's like. <laughs> Yeah. I was wondering how this I'm, was gonna I'm, happen. I'm having here. a good time. <laughs> All right, let me Not. let me let me jump out of here and I'll be back in one second. Keep, I just keep really going. wish that he could he could share my what I want to share. I'll be back in a second. Yeah, that's what they all say. Like a good father. <laughs> like a good father. Oh hey, since Jack's gone, I can share this with you. I mean he'll he he doesn't care. So hold on. Okay, so now I am really getting left by myself. Oh, okay. He's back. Ooh. 
Is that like a custom one? That's cool. So yeah, everyone out there, you show me like a, yeah, a Lego here. kind of so. uh, sailor battleship kind of thing. Is that custom? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I've, been wor- I've been working on this uh, for the last. It's, it started as this little cabin because I wanted yeah. to make a little, you know. Oh, the colored cause... windows. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> so for everyone out there, you just lost the whole back. Side, like, <laughs> I, I did. I did lose the cabin part. Um but but I have this little little cabin hut that that's what it started as, you know. Yeah. There's a little treasure kind of thing up up, up top there. Um, even with the backside off, I can I can kind of add that there. But you can kind of see there's a little table there with a little monkey. Um, and then I just I just was playing around with these. You're gonna make these, some sails. Yeah. These parts, yeah. Um, and then on this side, I have I have these little compartments for. Um, the uh uh the cannons oh yeah that's so cool so yeah. these these actually flip flip down i've been kind of playing around with different designs for them mm. and then up here and my son kind of helped me with this part but i have a little uh oh yeah nice a plank little plank yeah. but as you pull it open it, it activates a trip a little oh, trip a trip door. door yeah so it's it, multi purpose as well as like this, this part with the, the uh, this part can open up, and then you can, you can have access to there. And I even have a little, little hideaway door here where you can kind of store some, some treasure in the, the cabin up front. Oh. So, but anyway, the forecastle. That's what that's, it's called. The front. What's up? The forecastle. That's what it's called. In the, oh. The front of the boat. I I need to look up some stuff about the mass because. Uh, I was just kind of playing around with with how to make the mast, but um, my son and I come, came up with a with a pretty good system. Ah, shit! Oh, <laughs> oh, crap! Why is it still in there? Okay, so now it's just me and the picture of Jack, which is funny that I wanted to share this earlier because what I wanted to say is that. This just looks like if Jack was running for office, he'd be like, I'm Jack Glatfelter, and I'm here to tell you, you got to, I'm still here watching. Oh, okay. Fair. I'm Iron Man, and I approve this message. Jack Glatfelter, running for Congress. You need a podcaster on your side. Vote for Jack. (laughs) I I don't know. I don't know where else to go with that, because... Somehow Jack screwed me here, and now I'm the Garth. <laughs> There's no one else but me. Um, and if you're listening to this, you should just know that the video screen is just this image of Jack, which I was ad-libbing for, and me, a very small version of me. And um, there there we go. What else can I tell you about my week here? Um, yep. Just, uh, just finish. Just Jack. Okay. Now, now I'm back. Okay. Thank God. And we, and Jack. Oh, there we go. Cool. Jesus. Jack. It it was, it, what happened was it just, the whole computer froze. It's, it's, I'm telling you, those damn moles are chewing on that cable down below. (laughs) I swear, I'm gonna get a. You know, I'm gonna get a bulldozer. I'm just gonna dig up my whole yard until I can find those little fuckers. And if you're working for Pete, I apologize, but they will not survive. I so mean, I've st- almost broke my ankle a hundred times because the damn they leave such big holes in the goddamn grass. So you have a mole in your house, and then your grandkids. In, the, in in no, it's in the yard. Well, I was might have been putting down some poison day. My mole, mole, mole. Hayden goes, uh, "What do you give them?" I go, "Food." He goes, do they like the food? I go, oh, yeah, they like it. He's like, can I feed him? I go, no, this is special food you can't touch. <laughs> so I lied to him. Grant Pop-Pop's a murderer. Yeah, Papa is a murderer. <laughs> I, I know I've told this story when I had the store and the kids were just, I think Heather was only like two or two and a half. We had a, they were going to, and all these mice are just running all over the store and scaring people. So I had to put, Ma- ma- you know, mouse killer. And so we come uh-huh. in there and one mouse goes, ee, ee, ee. 
and my daughter goes, you killed Mickey Mouse. That's right. <laughs> I go, yeah, I'm sorry. So, yeah, she's hated me for, you know, what am I going to do? Anyway, Matt, you wanted to share something? Oh, I already shared it. Oh, did you? What was it? Did you shared that, pic- share that random picture of you. Oh, that's what you wanted to share me? Yeah, I just wanted to talk about it and how uh, funny it was. And uh, But then what you did is you shared that, took Nick off, and then it was just me. Yeah, alone. he was the I, 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 I had no control of what was going on. It was all... <laughs> rawr, 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 rawr. <laughs> well, I'm glad that at least one of us still had the light going. Yeah. There you go. And then today I had to get some, I, I had to get an iron infusion thing, a, a big old bag of iron infusion because my iron and everything was low. So I'm, I'm in the same place with the people that are doing chemotherapy, which is <laughs> kind of sad because, you know, yeah. the people are fighting for their lives. All right. I'm just complaining about st- sitting there for five and a half hours. Oh. So they have a TV. So I'm in the, and the sound comes out of the remote. So, I'm t- so I start watching day after tomorrow, but I couldn't remember the name of the movie. Mm. And I go, have I seen this already? It's yeah, an old movie because yeah, Jake Gyllenhaal. 2004. 2004. Yeah. 2004. Dennis yeah. Quaid, Emmy Ross. Dennis Quaid. Yeah. Um, just a bunch of young people. And I kept watching and go, oh, wait, I have seen this movie before. Yeah. I remembered at the end because I go, oh, great. I have to leave before the movie's over. Again, I don't want to complain. I'm just there for a iron transfusion. But I, I, the whole time I'm thinking, okay, when they say they're going to evacuate the South. You know, they have, he draws that line. Okay, everyone right. from this side up dies. Yeah. This, uh, you can't do that. There's, I mean, you've seen where they have a hurricane in like one city and those people can't get out of the city because everyone's on the same highway. He's frozen. Unless you were already down by on the border of Mexico and, and, and the United States, you're not getting, fuck off, you're not getting across, right? Am I right? <laughs> I'm Jack Gladfelter, <laughs> and I'm gonna. Smack I approve this silly. message. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I totally get. I, I it, what always irked me about those. How come only the northern hemisphere is what got frozen? It's like you know, is there no ice age happening in Africa or South America or Australia? Or it just showed. It just showed like Russia and Europe and North America. That was it. The rest of the world was fine. Uh, it's just. I think they get the most snow, right? Normally. Uh. I get, but I'm just saying, there's there's no fucking way. I mean, how many people are from this to this? I mean, if you're in San Diego, sure, yeah, you're, you can get across, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And all this, and you know, if you're on, you know, I'm just like, this is stupid. Yeah, I mean, it but, was a dumb movie. I mean, yeah, it, is a, it is a dumb movie. It was over the top, and they 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 they're getting from here to there. When there's a, they were going to go from Washington to New York to save his son. I'm like going, all right, people can't fucking move. How are you how are you going to get there? Right, Dennis Quaid. Come on, man. Ask your brother. Yeah. Yeah. It was a dumb movie. Yeah, I I was like going, this is terrible. But when you're sitting and the I don't know what channel it was, there are commercials like every three oh, fucking yeah. minutes. I go, I go, my God, more commercials. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. I had to um, be here. I just remember when I had my sledding accident and I was stuck there. You know, just like in pain. And they had given me some, I, I can't remember what it was now. Heroin. Yeah, basically. Uh, fentanyl. That's what they gave me. Oh, wow. For the pain. And I was feeling pretty groovy. I was like, man, this jazz yeah. music. This and jazz music is really hitting. But the never, funny thing. You've never painted the same after that. <laughs> 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 but the, um, the, uh, what was playing on the TV, I think, or my wife turned on the TV to distract me or whatever. And it was, was like of, she was sick of talking to you. No. Well, come on. When, when someone's drunk and you're not drunk or they're on something and you're not on something, it, it's hard to talk to that person. I don't it mean was, that she didn't want to talk to you. but It, it was it's... the movie Friday. Oh. But it was like the yes. it was like the, the TV PG version of it. Oh. You know? <laughs> Yeah. So like everything that they're saying in Friday is just been funnier you know, than an, than beeped or, ever or changed. You can yeah, tell the audio changed. Just like yeah. yeah, and so I think it's like, man. <laughs> and I forgot to say too, they kept pumping stuff. They, well, first she goes, "We might have to do an ultrasound of your arm to find a vein." I, and she goes, "Oh no, you're good. Oh, for your iron, yeah." Because I have, because well, I have mm. good veins. 
for that kind of stuff. I, I don't oh. a great heroin addict because I have easy veins, but she stuck. She goes, this might hurt. She stuck it in. No, no pain. I just went like, yeah, okay. That's and my she, street name. Easy vein. Easy vein. <laughs> that would be a good truck name. Wouldn't it? <laughs> hey, where's the drug dealer? Easy vein. <laughs> you goddamn. Yeah, you say my name. It's like easy. Say my name. Easy vein. You're goddamn mm. right. It is. That was more Jack Nicholson. I apologize. But so she, she kept putting all. I, she just kept sitting. Goes, you didn't ask what they were putting in there. I go, well, no. I go, they're just boom, 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 boom. They skip it. This is for you know the, the, all this different stuff. She goes. Then she goes. This is a steroid. She goes. You might feel weird after it goes in. I go. That's what she said. Yeah, I go, exactly. <laughs> she I, is it there yet? And I I said. I go, no, I don't feel anything. All of a sudden, it felt like there were needles going and just burning the shit out of my butt, my yeah. legs, oh. my arm, my neck. I'm like going, hmm. okay, I feel it now. Is it supposed to be like a burning, pinching, like uh, mm. like pins are going to be? Yes, that's it. I go, how long does this last? Because <laughs> it was like, uh, I'm like trying to sit up. I go, she was about a minute. I go, okay. Hmm. That's like, but uh, anyway. When I went, got, when I got my colonoscopy, be, it would have been you know, back in. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Back my in mind. June, same thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So like a... Uh, I don't know who that is. I know that name. I can't remember, can't picture the face. Um, the same thing. Go they ahead, gave yeah. me they gave me the stuff to knock me out that they gave Michael Jackson that killed him. You know, the propofol or whatever. But anyway, but like the same thing. They're like, this is going to be the most painful part of the entire procedure is like putting this in you to knock you out. Because you would. You'd feel that burning sensation, that warmth mm. going through your arm. And you could feel it like going into your body. And you're like... Whoa, and then of course after that you're just like <laughs> but it was it was a weird feeling. Oh, three's company. Oh, three's company. Okay. Yeah, it it is I I've told you the guy when you do an epidural, it is the weirdest sensation because you it, it like it feels like your legs are expanding. Mm, yeah. Yeah, I've, I so how long ago did you do the colonoscopy? Because I think I said it was no big deal. June it's no big deal. Yeah, like I uh, basically that's what they told me. They said, Oh yeah. Like as soon as we give you this shot, that's probably the only thing you ever feel. Cause like, as soon as you go wheelie into the room, you're out the entire time. Cause all I remember is them giving me the shot, feeling the, the warmth mm -hmm. and like the, the prickles and then them yeah. going Nick. And then like, I woke up and they're like, you're all done. I was like, Oh shit. Like that's it. <laughs> we have your social security, your DNA, your credit you card information. Yeah. Like we're good. You we can that tracker. Yeah. We planted that tracker way up in there. <laughs> Yeah, we also took you'll some, never find it. We also <laughs> took some incriminating photos with you and some. Yeah. Uh, You're fucked for life. Yeah. I, I told I I know I told you this is when the first I had it done the first time. They said, "Okay, roll over." I go your side. I go. I'm not asleep yet, and I could feel like it getting there. But it was like after that, it's like you said, "Wake mm. up, Jack." Yeah. Is it over? Yeah, I go. Oh, that wasn't so bad. It was. I mean, yeah, so like, when, when people freak worst... out about it. It's yeah. it's not. I've had it done three times. It's not bad. The worst part it's is just not the finger. The yeah, and that's not even okay. that bad. I don't like the finger. Well, they're not supposed to. Do, well, you're your age, yeah. Like I know, like when I went in, they told me that they're not doing it anymore. For said, and you know, someone in their forties, they said, um, said that uh, unless you're just urinating all the time, said there's no point in them doing that anymore because they said that if they think they find something and they schedule a biopsy it said if you come back negative they probably done more damage to you by cutting you open down there mm -hmm. than if they just would have ignored it yeah that's, so that's what i always say yeah, yeah anything else doc is fine yeah leave your fingers out of my ass man yeah, yeah. but yeah I, cover gloves I, and i've been my wife i told i told my <laughs> uh my my you know my my ex-girlfriend you know was the one who drove me to the the hospital for the color no yeah no she was with the colonoscopy but i had told her that when they told me when i got back from the uh, the checkup. Did she give you flowers? No, no. But I told her that story though about uh, I didn't get checked. I didn't get. I didn't get a prostate check. You know, I told her that whole thing, and she just looked at me. She goes, That's bullshit. She goes, I have to get jacked up like a goddamn car all the time. <laughs> like, you, know, like, well, you can take they, a finger in the ass. You know? Women, women do have it rougher, and we, they we, do have it rougher. And we yeah. bitch and complain, but it's it's okay because I'm not a woman, so I can. I don't care. <laughs> well, right. But they do uh, have it rougher. I mean, yeah, yeah. they have to. At no point do we take our balls in and have them sandwiched between two planes of, of any 
you God, know, can you imagine? Right? Well, I can, can, you I, ima- I, can you imagine if, yeah, if we had to go in for a testicular mm-hmm. cancer check every mm-hmm. like year, oh, they right. literally just slammed it in a book, you know? Be like, yeah. Fuck if, you. If, you know, the benefit of my age now, I can have my balls checked, turn and cough, and the doctor and I are not even in the same room. <laughs> so it's like, you know, yeah. he, goes, he goes, You're good. You're good. <laughs> Reel them in. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like I know I told you guys to watch it. You know the uh, the show with Michael Douglas and uh, why am I forgetting oh, the other old guy? Yeah, uh, Alan uh, Arkin and all that. Alan Arkin, yeah, who died that, recently, right? He did die. Yeah, uh, but yeah, I, I did. I thought that was so funny. You know, in like the third or fourth episode, you know, because his urologist was uh, Danny DeVito, and you know when he calls him, and oh, Danny, Danny, Danny DeVito calls him, he's like, "I got good news, I got bad news," and he's like. He said, like, "All right, well, Doc, give me the the bad news first. He's like, "Nah, you want the good news?" He's like, "Okay, good news. You don't have cancer." He's like, "Oh, thanks, Doc. That's great." He goes, "What's the bad news then?" He goes, "You got cancer." <laughs> <laughs> he goes, "But don't worry, it's the slow moving kind. You'll be dead long before the, that gets you." Because <laughs> so, every that's what they always say. I remember that uh, from um, my dad's doctor. He went hunting with us a few times, and him saying that said, "Every man will have prostate cancer." You know, in their lifetime, it just just depends on when you get it. Yeah, my dad had it. Yeah, hmm. didn't tell me that he had it. He told me Dave was going for surgery. I go, well, why don't you tell me? He goes, because you would have come out here. I go, yeah. But, hmm. Yeah, that's just who he was. I mean, that's, yeah, that's the way a lot of, especially that generation, like they just kept everything to themselves. You know, and there's just nobody. Well, they didn't have an Instagram account. That too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just waiting for that to happen, aren't you? Like you know, the other, the live stream TikTok of whatever. Here's my colon. Hey, hey, Doc, I want to put my phone on that camera. You're going to jam in my ass. You know, like, you know. I don't think you can on tick TikTok's pretty pretty uh, ticky tack about their stuff. And you got to be careful with it. Mm. Now, Twitter, you can put anything on there. It's true. It's a personal blog. Yeah, it's a personal blog now. You can do whatever you want. Facebook. Eh. Uh, YouTube, it depends. It depends mm-hmm. on how big your account is. Hmm. Some people, that's what I that's what I found out. I was going to tell you, Matt. I said my sports one doesn't have a thousand people. They are mm-hmm. now sending me things so I can do live shows. Oh, huh? I, oh. I, keep, I keep going, but I can't do live shows because I don't have a thousand. Yeah. Well, you would have that option on your like when you go like, um, it's like when you go to create content on right. TikTok, you'd have that option um on on this this area right here so yeah. like you you'd go to like it's past templates but you you'd be able to go go live so um but yeah i haven't been uh recording i've had i've I, recorded I, I, I a couple noticed. things but yeah did you see this lego shift that i made though <laughs> This is what he would show me while you drop it. Oh, out. So. oh that's pretty cool. Um, it's a custom he did himself. Yeah, and it's got all kinds of cool. Oh, I thought that was like crunk. That, I thought that was crinkled paper. It's Legos. It's the, Lego, the sales. Right? Yeah, the sales. I I just started kind of playing around with that right before we we began recording. Uh, as far as uh, a way to kind of how long did that take you to make? Uh, just two hours. So that's not bad. <laughs> just joking. That's just the sales. This, no. this is. No, the um, I was gonna say, damn, the the entire the entire ship. It's been kind of a ongoing. Did you get uh, one project to a part where you said, "Oh shit, I used the wrong part"? Mm, no, but I'll like fiddle with things and I'll continually change things. So like the side walls, I've changed those multiple times, and then my sons helped me on a couple things, and um, I'll I'll play around with like, well, what if I do this? And then I've ordered things, and there's a local Lego place that I can go to and they have a, they have bins where oh, you nice. can fill a, fill a cup. And mm-hmm. so I just happened to go there and they had a bunch of Brown cause I needed okay. a lot of Brown and it's a lot cheaper than, than g- going to the pick a brick Lego site. Cause you have to wait and, right. unless it's a bestseller. You've got to wait like six weeks cause it's got to come from Denmark or something. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's why you got to go um, to uh, Bricklink, and then Bricklink, yeah, you know, that, it depends on the seller and yeah, there's no easy way to get spare right well and brown is kind of brittle like it's notorious for breaking apart it's one of the colors that the reddish brown yeah yeah notorious Mm -hmm. for breaking yeah yeah 
I Supposedly, though, in the like the last year or two, they fixed that problem. It's like the newer yeah. Reddish Browns are are better. I have I had something that kind of happened to my mast where, um, or this this part right here where this kind of part kind of broke. Uh, I don't know if you can kind of see that, but it's there's, it's not there's a, no people, no pirates. Uh, I don't have a pirate. I just have this this uh, coffee barista dude from oh. one of the modulars. <laughs> I use him for scale. Mm, so okay. I can I can figure out. Oh, that's a real coffee guy. Yeah, it's yeah. a real coffee well, guy. I, I thought you were this, making fun of okay. this little this no. little monkey that that kind of keeps him company. I do have a bunch of skeletons uh, that I've amassed. Well, that would be cool. And, uh, so I I don't know. It's just kind of Dead been a, a fun little. No tales. <laughs> so, and Hi. I I typically don't fiddle with that but I, it started with me just making that cabin and then it just kind of has continually grown from there but nice. i typically don't do a lot of moc right i finally broke down and, and got the uh, starry night uh, oh yeah because yeah, i knew i wanted it uh so the uh, lego has been flirting with the idea of doing like an art uh they've only done two so far which was mm-hmm. uh van gogh or van Gogh uh starry night and then they did the uh, the japanese wave you know that you see like the three waves they did yes. that one yeah. and uh i kind of hope they keep going with it mm-hmm. and i would like it um but i i I'd, I'd had the uh, the wave um because it was cheaper than van gogh but I was oh, like, okay. you know what i was like i'm gonna get it just because i really want it anyway and you know and some it of comes those with, it comes with van gogh and that's why i wanted it. yeah i wanted yeah. the lego minifigure and i wanted mm-hmm. the little mini starry night and i yeah. i figured i could put him on like a modular building like and then have it up on uh, the wall and have you still him have like, a whole on a building like painting it as it's you know that's you still cool. have a whole room dedicated to uh I'm gonna have a whole room, yeah, eventually dedicated. I have to get a carpenter out here though to help me kind of build some shelves and stuff to to do it. You can't do it yourself. I'm not a carpenter, Jack. I need to get Harrison Ford out here, you know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I hear I hear his his rates are pretty cheap. Yeah, for carpentry. Uh, well, there's two yeah. things I, I want to help. Yeah, you know, I want to uh, if you're if, at the house, I can show you like what I plan on doing in this room. But I also want them to build a coffee table so I can put the the big Millennium Falcon in there. Right. Uh, put a coffee well table as... book in there. Coffee table book. No, that goes on top. Yeah, that'll go on top. Coffee table book. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that'd be cool. They're making it into a movie. At least they were. But I did. I did get. I'm, a, uh, I'm on the on la- the final episode of Seinfeld. My rewatch. Oh, the very final one. Very final. And one. I, I never understood why people complained about the finale because I mean, it, how else would you end it? You know, it was it was just basically how they were and how it, they were. If it, it, it finally caught up to them, I I got it. I think that, I think some people didn't really think that they were bad people, and so for the fact that they would go to jail or or, oh. or just kind of how over top some of those those aspects, but. I don't know. I mean, it's it's funny because it happened somewhat, you know, towards the the beginning of the internet. So you you really didn't have that kind mm-hmm. of, you know, I mean, if it if it aired today, like how many people would be like immediately like I they think weren't it would terrible be a lot people, more but divided. they they were selfish people. They were self, yeah, exactly. yeah, and that's that's self-centered. what the whole thing was. He right. they didn't help the guy that was being robbed. They just filmed it, and then the, of course they made fun of him being robbed, right? Because that's what they do. They're just selfish people. That's when they had that law, and the, I, I, I thought it was okay. I mean, is is it the greatest ending to any show? No, but it was. How could they? The show right. was. The show was people. one of the yeah. most yeah exactly mm-hmm. one of the best sitcoms of all time. How was it going to end? Right. On a, you know, it's like Mash started with comedy, and the finale was was heart wrenching. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just like I didn't like it at first. I said this before because how Alan Alda, how he ended his, you know, character yeah. ended. It was it was tough to watch because he right. finally cracked, mm-hmm. and which you can understand in war, people do because it's right. it's how do you, especially a surgeon, you, know, you watch it and you go. How can you just do that day after day? You're sawing yeah. people's legs up, then you had to go eat and you know liver or fish, you know, eleven straight days. It's just... it, it kind of goes to like uh, Jackie always. You know, I think about your comment on TV. Like nobody wants to see mom and dad fight right. in, a, in a TV show, but in a, in many ways, like the mash ending is kind of like that. Nobody wants to see 
the guy that like was, the was funny or like kept it, you know, like kept it lively. Nobody wants to see that person break. But mm, essentially, right. that's kind of what happens in the end, you know. And find out it wasn't a chicken; it was a baby. And you know, it's like, yeah. I mean, it's the how, how does Hawkeye go on with life mm-hmm. after that? Who's so, who's someone who his he? It didn't matter what side they were on; he was going to protect, you know, that thing. And I, there was a great episode where his dad is on there, and his dad, his real dad in real life, he plays mm. um, the doctor that was. Honorary doctor, but had been through World War One and World War Two, or yeah. And so he drinks when they're going to replace his part in the leg, and he goes, "You don't drink." He goes, "Not too." I've never had a problem like you. And so he goes, "I hope you do better in your third war." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, he throws it in his face. You know, okay. I've seen things. You know, especially with you know probably World War One. You had the gas. You know. Um, oh yes, yeah, gas. War. I mean, I would pick World War II any day or World War One. World War One would be scary as shit. Yeah, um, because you're, just, you're mainly in a trench, you know, not yeah, moving. Trench. And... I mean, it, it, you just have so many things that no one had ever seen before all of a sudden occur. You know, right. with you yeah. have plane warfare, you have bob wire, you have tanks, you have gas, you have all these things that are just and certain death because no one knew how to deal with it. Like, you know, you're just charging out of a trench into just getting wiped out. It's just uh, it's crazy. Yeah, that was a movie I watched. Uh... That's a movie I watched, and it was the. It was kind of weird. It had the, the all all the main characters' lives intertwined. It was, it was almost like Lost. They that they kind of just. But then there was this one American joins the Canadian force because he gets rescued by the Canadians, and they're charging this German post. That's you know that they they have. There's no way, but they kept going charge, charge, charge. I go stupid, stupid, stupid. You, you sometimes yeah. just got to wait it out because you. You're and they're in mud and they're you know, on the beach and they just can't get there. It's like, but that's how they fought. And you're like going, okay, this is just dumb. Yeah. And they and of course they didn't overtake it. And well, I mean, it's just a like, movie. Though. I it's enjoyed all, it's, it. It's all. I mean, it, then the more movies you watch like that, you kind of realize how stupid war is. Like Hamburger Hill and so many of those other yeah. ones. Yeah. Like, Our war is, is completely stupid. Yeah. What's the point? Like you took a hill and how many people died for a hill that they're just gonna yeah. give up? You know. And there's an episode of MASH where they talk about that, where, you know, the guys, you know, they talk about a lot. He goes, well, you got to take, you, you got to cost lives to take a hill. And you're like, they're like going, why do we need the hill? Right. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they couldn't, it's just part of, you know, war is, is more about money than anything else. Because I know people used to give me crap for watching Band of saying, you're a warmonger. I go, you love war. I go, if you watch Band of Brothers, there's no way you can say this is a pro-war it's like Saving Private Ryan. That's not a pro-war movie. No, there's. I don't think there's been a pro-war movie made in a very long time. No, know? it changed uh, with Platoon, I think. And I don't know Star Wars. It's very, <laughs> it's very like war. Yeah, it's, it's like, true. hey, let's go have war. You know, like, like what new ships do we have? What new weapons are there going to be? What new mm. sound effects? Mm. How did the bad guys look? Do we have any it's new a, cool that's fantasy, outfits? That's a fantasy war. How but are they going to use more, it's more red with black anyway. this time? <laughs> anyway, I, I just was... Because uh, anyway. I'd, I'd probably say Patton. Patton, yeah. That's it's probably one. the last pro-war film. You can't slap a soldier for crying. Yeah. Big baby. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. You could probably say Gettysburg. Is also another probably pro. Yeah, that's but, true. I mean, it's, it's more of a, it shows war in a more positive light. I mean, you can't really say any war picture is a, a pro. I think Gl- mm-hmm. Glory was more positive because it showed. Yeah, I like Glory. That's a good. Yeah, film. Glory's a great movie. Great. But again, they're charging a hill. They can't win. They, they, the 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 Confederates, your the the Southerners, have the high ground. You're not going to be able to take that hill. What, sorry, what film are you talking about? Glory, what are they, you know, the 51st, 51st? Well, the 50, the 50, uh, 54th, 54th. Uh, uh, match. Well, you talk about when they die, they were taking a fort, uh, yeah, they they're taking, even yeah. a fort. It was, uh, it was yeah, but they had the, the fort had the high ground. There was, uh, you're going up sand, there was yeah, no chance sand, in yeah. hell you were going to be able to just you'd surround them and just wait, starve them out. <laughs> well, the, the Fort Wagner wasn't really a fort, it was, uh, it's a, uh, 
it's in the mouth of uh, uh, Charleston, South Carolina. So yeah, Fort Sumter yeah. in the middle of the bay, and it's uh it's on the edge, and it's just it was one of those things that was stupid. They shouldn't have even tried to take it anyway. It was just like let's let it be. We've already got, you know, well, that's really saying, just, just a waste con- of life. Just yeah. contain them. Yeah, surround them, contain them, and anyway. Sounds really sexual. You just launch, you, <laughs> launch right cannon, you just launch cannonballs into the thing, and yeah. Anyway, uh, I don't know. Don't mess with Texas. Don't mess with Texas. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where'd Matt go? Did he he said he'd be right back. No. He had to check out. He's like, yeah, I'm done. Yeah, it was, it was like another. A... It was another foreign German movie I watched. It was a. Uh, it was a good movie. It was uh, pretty intense. And uh, like I said, it intertwined with the British, Canadians, and Germans, obviously. And oh, that's what I was gonna say. no Americans. I don't yeah. believe that. I don't believe the Americans win it. <laughs> My dad uh, called me or texted me. To, yeah, it was today. Yeah, or yesterday. Which um, one he, is it? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, he uh, he basically uh, was like, "Hey, have you ever seen? Have you seen that 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 show? That new show? It's on Netflix or something. It's called The Pacific." And I was like, yeah. "You mean the HBO series from 2010?" <laughs> and he was like, "Oh, I've never seen it." And I was like. Yeah, it's old. Why have you not seen it? And uh, yeah. he doesn't listen to this podcast. I guess. Yeah, it's more it. graphic. It's. I. It's I, not. It's not as good as I. When it's I nowhere it, near as good as Band Brothers. Yeah, but I did give it another rewatch um, about a year or two ago. It was better the second time or third time. I. I think it was the third time I saw it because I really yeah. paid attention to it. It's more graphic. It's way more it's, graphic. It, it's. I mean, when he the guy's throwing the rocks, rocks and skull, yeah. skull, they're going okay. That is just gross. Yeah. And I think I, I remember made Matt hungry. I know that we've talked about it uh, before, way before like years ago. You know, whereas because and I think one of the main reasons why Band of Brothers works is you're sticking with one unit, one small unit throughout the war, whereas in the Pacific is three different individuals and their journey through the entire theater. And I just right. don't, I don't think you get attached to any of the characters. No, no, because of that. Because I know Cindy, uh, she doesn't like Bastone the. Uh, the Siege of Bastogne in mm. episode six. Is it you know, five that was, six, you know five, that was filmed in a studio? It was yeah. not filmed. Yeah. Fake snow and all Fake this stuff. There, yeah. it, they do a great job, but she doesn't... I finally figured out why she doesn't like it. She goes, I can't tell you why I don't like it. I go, you're losing all the... You lose so many people from Easy Company that started out right. with Easy Company. You're losing... You know, you lose Garnier. Garnier you, you lose, you know, Hubler. You lose, you lose all these people that you... And they're real people. I hate to say characters, but you lose these characters who are real people. And that's hard to deal with that you know that they're never coming back. And and how it affects the people that are left behind, like malarkey and mm. people, how it, it just it just tears them apart. But that's why she doesn't like it. Yeah. I, I've always wanted a uh, a Western campaign Civil War movie. Because, uh, you know, they always show Virginia or you know, somewhere in the Eastern campaign with Lee and all that. But like, you know, the, the Western campaign, which is like Tennessee and Alabama, Mississippi and Arkansas, it's a completely different kind of warfare, but it never gets the. I saw a movie once with that. Um, wasn't the uh, the good, the bad, the ugly is is. Yeah, but that's what I think after the war or maybe but it's, it's, no, that's like no, way later. No. Is it not? No, like, no it's where's going on. North. Is it going yeah. on? Okay, cool. Because mm-hmm. remember, they come riding up. They said, "Oh, it's 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 the Southerners. It's the Southerners." And then they mm-hmm. they're just covered with dust. And <laughs> bah, 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 bah. Oh, wow. I, th- I think that was one of the uh, things when I first watched the movie that I was just like, like I was like, "Oh wow, the Civil War is taking place while this movie's going on." Because you mm-hmm. know, it starts out that you know it's kind of more in a Western kind of atmosphere right. or setting, and then it, then you see the war, you know. Mm-hmm. Kind of, but I was getting beaten and uh, keep playing. Um, so uh, real quick, I was going to say this earlier in my Star Trek rewatch. I'm now in season three and uh, of, of the classic series. And since Chris isn't here, we don't have to make fun of him. Um, <laughs> but so, some of the tropes, some, some of the Star Trek tropes, um, you know, that, that you just run across at this point. Um, there's these moments where 
if there's any beautiful woman, it's basically like how how is Kirk going to get with that exactly. person? Yeah. <laughs> like, it's in his, it's in and, his contract and, and, fo- and force his kiss on her. Right, yeah. right, right. Uh, I watched the episode where they find this planet. It's going to be hit by this asteroid, and um, Kirk goes off to investigate this monument, and then falls into the monument, loses his memory, and Spock and and McCoy have to go off and like try to deflect this this huge planet that's basically going to destroy the this paradise. Um, and it's just an excuse for. Kirk to get with basically some Native American girl. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, you know, and then like she's just like, and then he saves this boy's life. So then it's like, welcome to the tribe. And then her boyfriend's all hot and bothered about it. And, um, well, I think it's so it's, it's, it's Eddie Murphy that does it's I don't know if it's raw or his first album. He goes, you know, Captain Kirk was one horny motherfucker. He would fuck <laughs> anything. He goes, he goes. There was a green chick on there. He's fucking her. <laughs> fucking everyone. <laughs> you, have to, you have to hear. It's pretty good. He just goes on. And, I, and that was when I went. That's when I went. Accurate. You know what? You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Every now and then. Every now and then it's just like, oh, there's a little bit of sexual chemistry here or sexual tension with Spock. Like, and there'll yeah. be like this one woman that will be like, you know, and then it'll be Wasn't back it to the, the Kirk the, show. The doctor's so. assist. Uh, the. Uh, Gene Rodberry's wife, the actress, wasn't she? She, yeah, she, she's the uh, nurse chapel. Nurse so. chapel, yeah. She had mm-hmm. a thing for Spock. Yes, oh, right. Yeah, there's, there's kind of correctly. a. And if you if you watch Strange New Worlds, which is essentially a prequel to Star Trek, the classic series, you get to see why Nurse Chapel and Spock actually have this backstory. Mm, okay. So oh. it's kind of they, they they definitely play off half, of that. Half siblings. No. Well, that's why Doctor McCoy was so frustrated all the time because Kirk was fucking all the women didn't want to save anything for him. That's why. That's why, yeah. they, that's why they called him Bones. <laughs> yeah, Bones. <laughs> <laughs> there, there wasn't. I thought there was an early episode where like it's his ex-wife or wife or whatever, but then she's like a succubus vampire like alien. You know, it's like he's in love with her or something. I think that's season one. I've slept a lot since then, um, okay. but I've I've been enjoying it. It's just it's very dated, and it's just like how many times oh, do we yeah. have to see Nazis? You know, he's like, oh, it's <laughs> a fucking another planet that Nazis came about. Like, geez. because people hate Nazis, and I think that's a that was a ratings, you know. Well, you and, know, and it, I mean, it was only 20 it was still years fresh. After, yeah, it was twenty years after the war. It's it's like yeah. us still making content about nine eleven and terrorism, right? Yeah, like crazy. I mean, we still, yeah. we still have another year for that. Yeah, before we can go ahead and do that. Before we can go ahead and do what? Make fun of nine eleven. I think that I think there's. I think they said twenty twenty four is open I season. On it. Oh, okay. I'm just. Today, it. I would never do that. No, today, I just. I just meant like December Sam Bin Laden. <laughs> uh, no, I just meant like in regards to like in the no, it, 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 or it, the consciousness. Well, that's why they with like, Hogan's like, Heroes, they were like going. Wait, you're going to make a movie. You're making a TV show about the Nazis. And this is going to be funny. Well, it's going to be the great escape. Yeah, it's going but, to be the but they're never going to escape. They're just going to stay no. there and fuck shit up for the Nazis. Well, I think it was Stalag 13 it was based on. Stalag. Okay, Stalag 13. Stalag 13, yeah. Oh, Stalag, Stalag. 17. 17, yeah, that's it. Yeah, because uh, Hogan's Heroes was Stalag 13. At first, they didn't call it Stalag. They called it... Um, they they called. They call it like a, a resort or something. I don't know. See, I've, seen, they, I've seen that, Jack. And that's an old film. They wanted to call well, it Stalag 18, but they thought that if they called it 17, they'd get a lot more Southerners to the... Yeah, it's true. Uh... <laughs> uh, sorry. <It's> just... <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> well, they should do they should do like miniseries on the prisons in Civil War. Mm, well, they, yeah. did, they did. They did. I think TNT did. Camp thirteen. A, that's what they called it. Yes. I think TNT did a movie called Andersonville in like ninety four. Okay, I saw about, Andersonville. That's yeah, that's but... about the Confederate uh, prisoner of war camp that was in Georgia. That was brutal. Uh, but there's one near Chicago that the North had that was just as bad, uh, where they barely fed anybody and they, they a lot of the men died. Um, yeah. It was, oh, okay. 
Yeah, I, I remember Leonard from Community. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know he was in that, but now that you say it, I from but um, Big Valley did a couple episodes where they talked wow. about the prison, but it was the Southern prisons. Yeah. Um, I I ran across you. There was an Matt. article, or it was an article that had this list, but it was this mega list of all the World War II movies and all of the events of World War two and it was all in chronological order and it was pretty oh, fascinating right. because it was you know there's been so many different movies and tv shows oh, tons, but, it, yeah. but it but it it chronicles world war ii from you know hitler's early early years you know all the way through um and then after um but it was it was really kind of a fascinating list of like all of this stuff and how how each different movie might cover a different section of of that time period you know and where it fits in so well, it's it, it's fascinating, and, and mm. I mean that's why the, the the Pacific Theater doesn't get the uh, the love. Like the Pacific, it, it doesn't. It's it's harder, I think, to do than it's harder. Yeah, yeah. Well, because it's like I'm I'm glad that uh, Tom Hanks and Spielberg are doing the Air War. You know, because yeah. it's I I've always loved. I guess because the planes were so beautiful back then. I mean, I love looking at the B seventeen and the the P fifty one and all the. The planes and it's just something romantic about it but you know but you're right though with the pacific it's literally like a quarter of the entire world you know it's just the pacific ocean and you have it's such a naval engagement as well as uh, a marine engagement and it's island hopping so how do you really tell a story when it's like oh like we take this island and jump back on the boat take this island jump back on the boat it's kind of like well i don't know where the fuck you are cool right graphics like you know like like you see in in uh, Indiana Jones, where you Jones, see a red yeah. red line going down <laughs> to this other island, and dun, 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 dun. <laughs> well, I, I know in the uh, like the original Midway is better than the remake. Mm. I mean, it's it's not even. I mean, mm. I don't know if you've seen it, but I saw the original Midway in theaters, and that was when it they had the surround sound, and your seats would vibrate when the yeah. uh, when the planes would take off or bombs. You're like going, this is so cool. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, like there's a bunch of people that are really getting off on it. Oh, oh yeah, well, why wouldn't you? Putting in the quarters. Uh, <laughs> Will Price is harder. <laughs> the big red one starring Mark Hamill. Yeah, he, no, he plays Skywalker. He, it's, I don't it's, know who that the thing about that movie, he, he plays a coward. Yeah, I, I like the big red one. It's also one of those movies where I, I, I parody sure in it too. I didn't know Ren, what kind of Revenge of the Nerds. Yeah, exactly. Because they, they didn't know if it was going to be a comedy or a serious movie or what. It is a good movie, but it's. Especially when you get to the scene where the French lady is giving birth inside the tank and they just keep saying pussy to her. Pussy. 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 You know. pussy. But yeah, finally settled on the fact that it was a holiday movie because it's called The Big Red One. So they were like, let's go with the Christmas theme. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. it was a porn movie myself. <laughs> anyway. Um, no, I, I've, I haven't seen it in a few years, but I I, I like it. I, I do. I When Mark Hamill, when his character leaves the trench because they're dug holes and the tents were rolling over them. Yeah. I'm going to tell you right now, again, you know, charge that hill. No, you want me to dig a hole in the sand and the tank is going to roll over me mm. and I'm probably going to die. But if I run, I'm a coward. Yeah. Call me a coward. I'm not going to, I'm not digging a hole, put my body in it and hoping I don't get crushed by the tank, the tiger tank. Right. Because I, I don't, I don't know if that is, I'm sure that's what they did, but. I'm pretty sure if the tank ran over you, yeah, you'd be dead. Yeah. Well, if the track, dead. if the track directly runs over you, yes. But you know, you're yeah. hoping that you were in between the tracks or or something. But I mean, yeah, like, it's, it's, it's kind of like I mean, I think Maverick said it best. Tank roulette. I think Maverick said it best. You know, if you think you're dead, yeah. You know, and uh, well, that's in Band of Brothers because uh, Lieutenant um, um, Dan, what's his name, Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> Uh, he he tells he goes you know what your problem is you still have hope you still right. think you, you you're gonna live you get you've already you should already know you're already dead right because he would he hmm. would, uh, spirit lieutenant spirits he would run into and just do crazy things because that's what you know yeah. he just said okay I'm here to die if I die well, I die I you know I haven't played paintball in probably 20 years but when I used to, I used to love to play paintball. And I've never played paintball. It's really, to. it's really fun. No never invited um, me, Nick. But that that was something I learned very quickly with uh, with people who had never played paintball versus people who had played it a few times. Is that if you try to play it 
like someone, like you're in real war, you're going to die. Like, because mm. what they'll do is they'll hit the ground or they'll get behind a tree or they'll get behind a log thinking, I'll just stay here. You know, mm-hmm. and you're the first person to get picked off because you're in you're in a stationary position and people right. realize where you're at. Whereas in me, it's one of those things you have to keep mobile. You have to constantly, you know, like even in Band of Brothers, like you have to keep moving. You have to keep moving forward. It's the same thing. But you, you know what to- happened? Every time they picked the guy up, he would yeah, get, get shot. shot. Yeah. That's, you know. Sorry. <laughs> if you would have kept moving, you would have been alive. You at least you get a medal. <laughs> Well, that's it. Like that's that was my always my biggest thing that would piss me off about uh Seven Bright Ride was uh you knew that the little ch- chicken shit would get a medal at the end of that when yeah. it's like yo you you should have been the one that got shot in the fucking head you know <laughs> yeah. did did I earn it no dumbass yeah but you know you, you kind of wonder though like when you see all these old veterans saying like you know. I'm not the hero. The guys that died out there are the heroes. Yeah. You're kind of like, oh, I am right. Yeah. Oh, we got Robot Nick. DJ oh. Nick. Well, I, I hear what they're saying, and, and, and they're right, but you know, I look at it, I go, no, you're all the heroes. They're all heroes, yeah. I mean, what you did, I mean, especially the people that stormed Normandy, you know, the beaches, and, and, and I go, that was just insane. Just crazy, but anyway. Chris just sent us a picture. Cheers. Oh, cool! Mission Bay Park. He knows that we're recording tonight. He does. He, he knows. was thinking he's about just... us. So, oh, Mich- oh, he's uh, right off SeaWorld. Um. Oh, right. I forgot he was in San Diego. Pouring one out for our homie. <laughs> Man. What? I see. Anyway, we probably talked too much about war movies. We're losing people. Could probably just talk about Legos. left and left and right. Well, sure, we we probably could have. But um, anything else going in your lives that we should know about? Um, um, we do have three emails. If you want to. Talk oh, about that. Well, let's read oh, some let's, emails. Yeah. Emails. I don't know if you can see this. Email. I mean, two of them are. If you look at the Christmas tree in the back. That is is at Sea World. Oh. It's actually green, that's but because you have your green screen on. Oh, it's, that's right. Yeah, yeah. See, Will Fry says actually he's loving the conversations, Jack. About well, war. I I didn't want to just I, I could talk about war movies all day long. Yeah, I'll I'll put it up on yeah. mine. I do love me some war films. I don't I don't think mine gets any better. I think yours. No, was, it didn't. Was it's fine. just yeah. yeah. You can't you can't even see the tree. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, that's Chris. <laughs> and then there's. Yeah, Cindy started really watching uh, New Girl. Who's that oh. girl? It's Jess. Who's it's good for like the first two and a half seasons, then it just. Yeah, as, as soon as Jess and Nick get together, uh, spoiler, uh, it, it the show changes. You know, and you and knew I, it, I, and you knew they would. Yeah, the whole time because they they had an attraction with each other the whole time. Right, but yeah, it's, it's kind of like. That's what I'm saying, I, and I wonder if writers just run out of ideas or what. But because like, I know we talked about that with you, might uh, also think like, hey, we don't know how many more seasons we're going to get going, you know, picked up. So you want to be able to play play your hand, you know what I well, mean? Like as a card game, it, it's like. But it's, it's 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 there's so many shows that are like that. It's like that's why I said like the first four seasons of Friends are good, and then as soon as uh, Ross goes Ross to Rachel. England to get married to Emily. Oh, to Emily. That's where the show really should have ended if you wanted to have it be a full arc and that mm-hmm. Rachel should have shown up, been at the end of the of the altar, you know, and then Ross sees her and then says, I can't do it. You know, and then that's we would the end have never, We would have never gotten anything with Ch- Chandler and Monica. But it, and... it didn't need to be there. I mean, that's I, what I don't like, know. Like, there, well, Chandler grew some up. Stories, yeah, I guess there's yeah. some storylines that I do enjoy. No, there's, afterwards. I'm not saying that there's not good, the good storylines past season yeah. four. There are. There's right. some really great episodes past it. But I'm saying, as in just a full character arc and like everything that's going on of being right. friends, you know. Uh, Whereas Seinfeld was di- it got better as the show went along. Yeah, it yes. did. It did. They, they started yeah. using Michael Richards more. Yeah. And yeah. Elaine was wasn't going with those stupid long monologues that she would do in the first few episodes, you know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And so she was just she began, and then but, but if you watch it, Jerry becomes more crazy mm-hmm. at the end. Yeah, he's yeah germaphobes, he's and he's just more. You know, he's he a, he's more a lot character. more neurotic. Like they they kind of like bent. Well, I think he learned how to act. Hmm. Well, I don't know. Yeah. I well, don't I, in, know. in the beginning, he wasn't that good an actor. No, 
<laughs> no. And at the end, he was he was he better. was better. Yeah, better. I mean, there's a scene where he does with Michael Richards where he he the, uh, Michael Richards spits the water like that, and it goes in Jerry's mouth, and he spits it out. It, it had to be oh. that could have been planned, but they just played mm. through it anyway. Hmm. What about those saying, emails? I know. I, I was just thinking of another show that like changed, you know, like because of something, and I, I lost track when we started talking about other shows. Cheers, but... Mash. Well, yeah, Mash. Is, no, Mash, no. Is, Mash has all kinds of problems. That being... Oh, that's what it was. Because we've talked about we've talked before, like as I say, like with with um uh with the, the new girl, it did it changed, and the same as like with uh, House of Cards. So we've talked. You've heard me talk about oh, this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Season one and two were so good, and then as soon as he becomes president at the end of season two, that's where the show should have ended. That's it, you know, because like after that, it's a completely different show, uh, yeah. and it's not as good. Uh, because anyway. he's he's reached his. He's reached his goal. Of, yeah, I mean, a lot of people thought that this this episode should have ended a long time ago. No one thought that. Like, that. Just you. <laughs> it's like when they killed Vince Foster. I'm sorry. You wouldn't believe how many emails I get. Not really. You guys talking about people wanting a five hour episode? No. Uh, okay. Well. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> all right. So this one is from Randy. Randy. Even though he signs it meathead. Um, <laughs> the title is "No Trekkies Allowed." What? Uh, Get the fuck out of here. We already know Jack's answer, but have you folks ever watched All in the Family? Signed Meathead. Yeah, yeah I've seen All in the Family. Not the, all the way through or every episode, but definitely. I've, I've seen every episode multiple times, and I enjoy it now because I understand a lot of the jokes that I didn't understand because I never understood when he would make fun of the Polish people. I go, I don't get it. And, and, and now you make fun of Polish people all the time. Oh, I do because I get, I get it, I understand it. But no, I I never got why he didn't like certain people. I go, I don't get my mom. My mom and dad would go, yeah. My mom, I don't think my dad watched it, but mom would go, just he's just a bad person. Yeah, it's it's kind of like I you know they, they that's remade, how my mom explained it to me. <laughs> they remade Marty, you know, in like ninety or ninety one with John Candy called Only the Lonely. Yeah. And uh, his mother was very against Polish people. Like she was just mean. And I never understood either. Like why, you know, but it, it wasn't as good. I mean, but yeah, I was always, anyway, I'm always still surprised that Marty won the best picture. I mean, but uh, Nor- yeah. I think the reason he wrote that is Norman Lear passed away at age 101. He's did Ma. Oh, right. Um, oh, family, the Jeffersons. Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, he, he changed the way sitcoms. Yeah. Were made because before that it was Green Acres, Bewitch. Yeah, I liked, a I liked the Jeffersons. That was a show yeah. that I enjoyed a lot uh, and was yeah. on. So we're moving on up, we're moving on up to the east side. To and I mean, back in those days, I mean, for so yeah. long, you just had to have a kick ass theme song. Oh, yeah, that, that's know. actually something like, yeah. that's missing, I think, sometimes. Yeah. Oh, you know who sure. su- you know who sung that song? No, um, Sonny Bono. <laughs> the girl that played Winona in Good Times. Oh, oh really? Huh? She sings it. Wow. She sang it, I should say. So I think it was the one episode you missed, Jack. Um, Matt and I were talking about it was the Thanksgiving, like our prior to Thanksgiving episode. Okay, I did pre, miss pre, it. pre and uh pre giving. Matt and I were talking about how we prefer to watch Garfield's Thanksgiving. Not Thanksgiving, I'm sorry, Halloween. It was Halloween episode, not the Oh, okay, yeah. The we were talking about how we prefer I to watch year. I don't know, but you, you came, came in late. You might have come in late. late. Yeah, okay. Matt and I, I, do, I were talking. I do remember the conversation. Yeah, Matt and I were talking about how we prefer Garfield's Halloween I've special seen it. over the Great Pumpkin. And, no, I, I don't. Or, I like Great Pumpkin, but I do. I don't oh, mind watching. Okay. Watching them. So anyway, we got, we got Garfield's on. such a pussy. I can't watch. It. <laughs> but we were talking about the song that's in this cartoon. Yes, it's, it's so great. You know. And, it's this very kind of R&B, just, you know, <laughs> I may be lazy, I may be fat, you know, I may, you know, and it's just, it's just like, yeah, it comes out. And, of, it, and it's yeah. got like this really like, cha cha cha. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't have like Jimmy Durrani <laughs> feel to it. It's Jimmy Durrani? Little... Yeah, Jim, that's what I meant. He's, a, okay. he's in the, he's in Frost's Snowman. Yeah. I hate Frost's Snowman with a fucking passion. I I watch it kind of more as a like making fun of it, you know. Well, like, Ava so. fell in love with it last year. We must have watched it. I, I mean, I hated it before that. But, oh, the Rudolph. Yeah, you should have never let well, her watch it. You know, well, that's her mom you... let her watch it. And oh. I, it's it's I, I go I 
I go, it's not, I, I try to set her straight. Like, oh, you I hate Frosty Snowman. That's yeah, the, yeah. I, I know she's only four or five now. I said, look, it's Everybody not. Everybody likes his, Frosty it, Snowman, but you, Jack. It's not his fucking hat. It's not his hat. And then you have yeah. Santa Claus comes and extorts the, the magician. You write one trillion times, I'm sorry. The guy was dying of jaundice, okay? This hat was probably the only thing keeping him alive, the magic from this fucking hat. So, Who's like, you look man? at him, he's got, he's, he's orange and he's green at some point. Like, he... Who, he, the magician? Yeah, the magician. Yeah, I, I agree. It, it it was his fucking hat. Not no, but he, 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 he was sick. He was, he was dying, clearly. Oh, so he, he was, was going to die yeah. anyway. He, I he think because his, his maybe, heart was too small. Well, he was an alcoholic. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty mean. That but makes I, sense. I, I, and Down on his luck, and, and magician. Then Daisy, what was her name? Daisy, Sally, Poopy, uh, whatever her name was. She goes in there in shorts. <coughs> yeah, they're playing, playing fast all and the, loose. All, all the girls wore shorts on a skirt. Uh, wore well, skirt. that was the only way that we could identify them as as the gender at that point in time. And then she goes, "Yeah, I'll take the train under. You know, I don't mind in dying in Wisconsin, bumming a ride. Some yeah. hobo finds me, shivs me." A talking snowman. <laughs> Close. Uh, I um, I thought there was something else that I was going to share, but I guess it doesn't really matter. So Rudolph wasn't a bully. This is not the Karate Kid, Randy. Rudolph a bully? This is totally, a, totally a bully. Rudolph was bullied. He, he was bullied exactly. Was it's it. only when he gets his power that he begins to push it on other people. Yeah. So. Santa. Right. Randy's second email is called "Cancel Me." Elmo. I want to be a dentist. Oh wait, who is it from? Randy again. Randy. Oh, fuck. Randy. Just put it in one email. It's Randy. Called cancel okay. me, cancel me, Elmo. Hi, Lawman Bass Glatfeller. Doctor Boston Bones McCoy. Oh, he's <laughs> Rosebud Ryder Matt. Oh, and St. Nicholas Nickelback, which I think is pretty insulting to call me Nickelback, <laughs> but um, I would have gone for a, it, it's a wonderful life, uh, yeah. reference, but that's Mary. Cool, you know? Mary. Yeah. Uh, what do you call an Asian Dwayne Johnson? I don't call them anything exactly. I this is definitely a loaded joke, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Asian. What, what would Asian? you call what would you call a Asian Dwayne Johnson? Oh, Dwayne, I was thinking Don Johnson. No, not Don Johnson. No, Tubbs. Um, this is a I, so I, loaded I, question. I, Thanks, Randy, for putting us I, on the spot. First, I would never make fun of Dwayne Johnson because he'd kill me. No. And uh, second, I don't want to pick on any. You know. No, I, I can't. I, I, I don't I even want, call them Asian. I don't it's want to be just, called canceled before they I have you know. countries. Maybe I should from. read the answer then because we. You got to read the canceled. answer. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is, just so everyone out there knows, this isn't our joke. We're reading an email from a listener. <laughs> the Mer- 20 Mer- years later. The RCAD does not condone or, or uh, what's what they always say. This, uh, right. Endorse. Whatever. We, we're not. Support. <laughs> Fuck it. I can't remember the damn name. Yeah. Well, damn John, John the retired guy actually got the answer. Oh, okay. Is, I hope it's Mickey Rooney. The walk. <laughs> the walk. <laughs> the walk. Uh... Ah, uh, Randy, 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 Randy. <laughs> so, yeah, what uh, will we do? Definitely so you could, the, uh, the you Mickey could, Rourke. Could, um, yeah, you could do those Mickey jokes Rourke, back in the saying. day, but you can't do them now. All you even right. did that joke on Modern Family. The pilot. Mm, goes, yeah. Why would you name her Lily? Mm hmm. Yeah. Right. They 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 they, they did uh, uh, different jokes with her throughout the yeah. years, mm-hmm. for sure. So. I think sometimes we've gone too far, but you know, it, 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 well, it's know, like but, a. But I, I, I'm 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 very careful what I say. I try to be very careful what I say now. It's like a, there was a ninety ninety one movie called Cuffs with uh, Christian Slater. Oh yeah, Cuffs. I think I saw that. Yeah, there's, there's a joke mm-hmm. in it between like two like night security guards they have like two scenes the entire film, and it shows a guy like. What do you do as a night security guy? And he was just like reading the phone book, <laughs> you know, and like, mm-hmm. and he was counting all the uh, the Wongs because it's in San Francisco. So he was counting yeah. all the Wongs in the phone book. He's like, do you know that there are over 3000 blah, 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 Wongs in the phone book? And the guy goes, it's a lot of Wong numbers. <laughs> 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 no, uh, anyway. no. 
Uh, Let us know, you the listener. Was that a Wong joke? We don't know. <laughs> we don't know. Yeah. We don't know. Uh, we don't know. We don't know. Our last email is from good old Maggie. Maggie! Yeah. Hi, Jack, Nick, Matt, and Chris. Uh, when I was teaching preschool, my friend who taught kindergarten had a strip pooper. The kid oh, took forever oh, yeah. in the bathroom. I mm. never taught a strip pooper, though. Oh, I, we were talking about this, like I, I know, the idea I, of like stripping down your to, all to I naked. Forgot, yeah, to poop. To I'm naked, like, what the to... fuck is a strip pooper? I go, oh, now I got it. Yeah, yeah. people that go completely nude when they poop. You gotta go completely nude and, in order. You know, to whatever, get it out. whatever makes you comfortable, but you can't, unless you're out. at school, in which case you gotta get that shit in and out. Yeah. Or actually, you just gotta get the shit out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Go ahead. All, all the light you cannot see is based on a book. The book is really good. I haven't watched the, any of the episodes yet. I plan to. So that was a show Jack and I watched. Mm, and talked about okay. It's an ex, it's, a, it's I, a good show. I was, I was upset it was only four episodes. That's what I said. I was like, I think it should have yeah, been five episodes. Had, yeah. And I was like going, because I've been trying to watch other shows. And it's like, ah, this doesn't have the same mm. intensity. It just wasn't done as well. Yeah. It should have been like, I felt the ending was just a little bit rushed. I think it should have been one more episode and then it would have been perfect. Yeah, because I didn't buy the relationship between the girl and the and the kid. Yeah, at the end, well, I was their, like, re- their relationship was more of how they shared something as kids. Yeah, I know. But, B- because I don't want to spoil anyone how the ending ends, but yeah, but it, it just seemed a little like, oh, okay. I think they just shared the same. They mean they they both had rough childhoods. Yeah, right. And I think they shared one love, and that love brought them together. And it, I mean. It's not like they had kids together or anything. Spoiler. You don't know. <laughs> I do know. They could have at the end. They, later. No, they couldn't have. No, his penis was shot off during the war, so there's no way he could have kids. Oh, you saw that, did you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Unbroken, which I don't think we talked about. Uh, I talked about uh, it. Did yeah. we talk about it? it? Oh, yes, know. yes, mm. we did talk. Oh, okay, yeah. The the. I was late to the party. Yeah. Unbroken is also a book. I read that one for my book club. I forgot there was a movie. I meant to see it. Louis goes through so much. When yeah. I read the book, I kept thinking, if I didn't know this was a true story, I would think it was fiction. Say, I agree. If I didn't know it was a true story, because at one point I go, okay, I got to look this up. Hmm. So I stopped the movie and I go, oh, this is a true story. And like I said, I watched the thing on YouTube and every almost everything that they did in the movie is fact. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it, it's not a couple of things were switched around, but it wasn't one of those things where it may have been this may have been that or, you know, I just learned I just learned at Fast Times Ridgemont High, the guy that plays Mark Ratner, the guy that, that is the movie guy, the movie, mm-hmm. not the movie guy, but he is a the movie theater guy mm-hmm. in real life. He well, he, I knew he was upset with uh, Cameron Crowe because of how his character was portrayed, but he's the one that orders mm-hmm. the pizza. Not Spicoli in real life. Oh. And he didn't get credit for that, so he was kind of pissed off. Because he's his character's kind of his character's kind of portrayed as a uh you know a, a, a geek and he did he didn't like the way he was portrayed, but now he's he's cool with it now. It's a character. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Hey, oh crap, my phone went to sleep. Oh, one second. Okay, there we go. Um my book club made a no World War II book rule. We had read so many books that started in September 1939. <laughs> uh, next um, one. Oh. Are you wait? Are you are you cool with the book? Isn't that like um, what are we burning books here? I mean, I, <laughs> seriously. I mean, are we are we it's censorship? No, I mean, I, I mean, it's a book club. It's, it's a book you're club. not censoring. I think, I think, you're just you know, like you come to just, consensus as a group, like what you okay. want. to those are the time so, periods, and they probably yeah. just, you know. Like, okay, okay I, all right. I overreacted. I overreacted. This, you know. Okay. Yeah. I apologize. Do I you was see what we have wrong. to put up with, Maggie? Maggie, I apologized. I said I was wrong. I, I had a snap decision. <laughs> I, have an, I have an infusion of he's, iron in me. He's very pro-World War II, so. I got steroids. I, you know, I got other things. I don't even know what they were pumping into me. So that, that I have an excuse today, okay? Okay. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Now, this one, Jack, I think you got your dander up a little too soon. So <laughs> you're going to have it up after this next comment. 
I have also never oh! seen okay, a full right. episode of Star Trek. <laughs> she hasn't? Has not. Yes. And she's a and she was a teacher? Yeah. I oh watched the Star Trek movie JJ Abrams made. Oh god. So she does not deny or confirm that she's even seen the original movies. <sighs> okay, I'm I'm not the Star Trek police. I'm not <laughs> But there, there, there are rules, and there's unwritten rules, and I'm sorry. I mean, I, I, I it's almost okay because it's, unlike Chris, who watched the movies but not the show, I guess I'm okay with that. Um, I'll let it go, Maggie, because because I was wrong about the book club. I think he's letting it go because of the you, you you pay us in patron money, so he's just no. I'm I'm not that type of person. <laughs> I don't care if I if I feel strongly about something. Oh, okay. I'm, going to say it so there no i'm not as bad as nick yeah, I, I will you know that. you know what i wish you'd say <laughs> true. what the patron names the patron patron names? Names? i'm not done yet what there's more to this fucking <laughs> <laughs> usually it's chris tonight i'm just like oh wow okay okay her last sentence or two okay thank you Maggie, for the scene. <laughs> it's worth it have you watched any holiday movies? If not, what holiday movies do you like to watch every year? Oh, geez. This is Maggie okay. the Magnificent. All right. What movies have I watched? Die what Hard. have I not watched? I've seen Elf. I've seen uh, It's Wonderful Life, of course. Christmas watched- Vacation was already playing. Oh, my wife has probably watched Elf maybe five times. Um the movie Noel that's on Disney Plus isn't too bad as far as like a, a, a more recent. I've mentioned 8-Bit multiple times. Um, really enjoy that. We watched that actually recently, like post-Thanksgiving. And uh, it's got like a little bit of a heartfelt mm, misty in the room moment at the end. So watch out for that. But um, uh, what else? Oh, like Shop Around Club. the Corner. I love how Randy is. Shop around the corner, although not like a super, but it's got Jimmy Stewart black and white movie. There's something about putting on a black and white movie in the background as you're doing holiday decorating. It's like, am I interested in this? Am I not? Halfway through, you're like, wow, I can't believe that they made this movie. You know, it's like we've progressed beyond this. I like so uh, miracle miracle on 48th Street, 44th 40, Street with 34th Street. Jack, your mic with cut yeah. out or something. It's, it's like you're like an echo. Or... Yeah, I pulled it out. You're there, the so. there shadow you of a man that you once were. Yeah. Maybe. There I got it. I got it. I got it. He's Better? even further out and you're moving Better? away from yeah, us. There you go. You're good now. Nailed it. So Better? with me. Yes. Yeah, you know, you're good. You're good now. Keep yeah. stroking it. With me. Well, I, I didn't finish because with oh, 34th know, Street with uh, Natalie Wood. Yeah, she's a child. She's a child I haven't watched that's the, that, that's the best one. The only thing that bothers me, she gets in Santa's sleigh, sleigh and it's flying over the ocean, falls in and drowns. I, I don't oh. like that part. Hmm. I don't like that part. I've been wanting to watch Home Alone this season. I haven't watched oh. that yet. I haven't yeah, watched Home Alone good. in a while. Yeah. Well, it's been a while for me, too. Didn't someone, was it you that might have been you, Nick, that talked talk about how, um, what's her name is the same, same age now as, yeah. Um, Chris yeah, uh, no, yeah. Uh, what's his name is the same age. Macaulay the mom, uh, Macaulay is the same age now as what his I mother I think he's was. older. You know, he, you think he's like two years older now. Yeah. That's what she was. Mm-hmm. Because he's born in 80, I think. Uh, so, yeah, he's 43. So, yeah. It's a holiday movie if you want it to be. So Did, it, did his dad really lose his leg? Did I read that? I don't know. He got infected and Macaulay Culkin mm-hmm. said. Seven years know. older. Wow. No, Seven. she couldn't have been in her 30s in that thing. I, I also like on the holiday theme, I like to watch a lot of the, my favorite TV shows, Christmas or Thanksgiving episodes. I like to try to pop in. The Brady know, Bunch. Just, Carol um, loses her voice. I I go through at least five. I know that I watch when I'm home uh, because I'm there for three weeks, roughly. Like I know that when I get to my parents' house, there's two movies I'm definitely going to be watching. Real Bravo, which I know is not a holiday film, but I'm going to have to watch Real Bravo. Um, well, because my dad watches it all the time. Uh, I'm trying to, oh, and then I know when I get to my sister's, the first movie I'm probably going to be forced to watch, which I love it anyway, so it's fine, is Die Hard, which is another Christmas movie. Sure. Uh, and then my Christmas movies that I know that we're required to watch every year are definitely uh, White Christmas. Christmas oh, yeah. Vac- 
yeah, White Christmas, Christmas Vacation, and A Christmas Story. Those are the yes. three holiday films we will watch every year. I mm-hmm. didn't watch A Christmas Story last year. Oh, I couldn't find. I couldn't see what it was on, and I just. Didn't. I think it's on an HBO. I thought it was on the Christmas. Max. So, because they made the sequel, so they were really promoting the sequel last okay. year. So I thought the. I thought Sorry, I didn't. Max. I said okay. I, I, I'm just gonna take it. Uh, a year off. I, uh, uh, Sometimes I life. do that with with movies. You know, I tried to not watch Christmas Vacation for a while because I'd seen it so much. So much. Um. So you know, I tried. Still to... not my favorite one. I, I I like the original better. I don't. Oh. I think I think Christmas Vacation, and it's funny because I we recently watched Vacation. And then when I watched Christmas Vacation, I was seeing all of the parallels, like all of the things that they actually pull in from yeah. the original movie in into that. Even like the whole like them driving in the car together. Like, I didn't like Rusty had too many theories. I don't know. I didn't like it. Okay. What theories? theories. Rusty? Rusty had too many in Christmas Vacation. What theories? Theories. Huh? I'm not telling you. Think about it. Okay. I don't know. All I can think of is the fact that he's on Big Bang Theory. So there you go. Had too many theories. Uh, okay. Uh, we we recently watched uh, some of the Christmas movies or Christmas episodes from Big Bang Theory, and there's some some pretty hilarious ones, um, including the one where they all kind of imagine what their life would have been like without different people. It's kind of a play on It's a Wonderful Life and. Uh, Meanwhile, Sheldon's sister's giving birth. So, um, but anyway, I'm gonna watch Scrooge this year. Scrooge, uh, Scrooge, Scrooge, Bill Murray, Bill Murray, Bill Murray, yeah, Classic. Bill Murray, yeah. I started playing that, and my wife was like, "What are you watching?" I'm like, "This opening part is hilarious." Opening, yeah, it is. Yeah, so, it's hilarious. I haven't watched it in a few years, so I said, "Okay, it's time Lee to- Majors." <laughs> <laughs> we, my my kids and I were. My wife, not so much, but I've definitely indoctrinated my kids with this. Is we watch um, Mystery Science Theater 3000, so we'll watch a lot of the holiday versions of that. They have Santa Claus Conquers the Martians, which is always a good one. And uh, oh, you have to pee? Yes, I have to pee. I'm oh, oh, dancing. Oh, can we can we just make this episode go a little bit? No, Randy wants it. us to stretch it out, you know. Well, I, I'd like to stretch it out, but I can't. Okay, are you sure? Well, I, I need to watch. Uh, I told you that. Make who, who's that. What's that? Santa Claus is coming. To, is it Santa Claus is coming to town? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Santa Claus is coming to town. Gordo. Well, I'm. Um, I, I'm. You know what I'm now. And <laughs> which one was I'm Mr. Heat Christmas? I'm Mr. Sun. And and the, the George's. Costanza's mom is the woman it plays that part. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Got any water? Yeah, that sounds good. It's okay. I already went. Oh, you're wearing a diaper? No, I just peed my pants. Fuck it. They need a new rug. <laughs> <anyway. laughs> it's in okay, my socks. Steve Martin. I got you. You got you gotta go, you gotta go. <laughs> May I go to the bathroom? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Why do we put the cork on the fork? <laughs> yeah, I know. That wouldn't be a bad, like, you know, Christmas Day watch, you know. Like even though it's not a Christmas movie, like Christmas you know. Yeah. So a year without Santa Claus. That's it. Thank you. Um Yeah. I didn't watch Those... Rudolph this year. I, I don't. Did, yeah, the year's not over. <laughs> well, I I'm not gonna watch it. Okay. I don't think I've watched any of the cartoons in years. Like any of them, like mm. Frosty it used or to be, Rudolph. It, it used to be easy of. when we were kids. I mean, when I was a kid, anyway. You had your three channels, and it would be on. Right. It was sponsored by Dolly Madison or Gillette, because Santa Claus would be going through the snow in a razor electric razor. But you'd watch that. You'd watch, you, you know, Charlie Brown Christmas. You'd watch Rudolph the Red Nose. It's like every day. The Grinch, which is a classic. I like the Grinch. Mm-hmm. And the Grinch is is probably Chugger. if you, it's probably my favorite one. That's what, looking yeah, back on it. The now. Grinch is so identifiable. Like I love the Grinch. Like, yeah. like everybody's like, I'm. You're either 
you're you're both you're the grinch but you're also the rest of society you know and you're kind of wrestling with like both both aspects so. and you know I, I love it when people make memes of shit i think um I just don't know how to make memes, so I don't make them. But it was like, you know, people missed the point of the Grinch. Grinch did not hate Christmas. He hated people. Mm -hmm. And that's why I like the Grinch. Well, and all of the you, noise, you are the the Grinch. noise and yeah. the hooplas and the, you know, yeah. it's like. He just wanted them to shut up. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, but, even the Grinch, but even the Grinch had a dog. And that shows he cared. <laughs> well, he treated that dog like, like a dog. Yeah, there were a lot of like. Yeah, he, um, he, he, decisions. he yeah. abused that dog. That's true. But but he in the end he learned that mm. it wasn't about the toys, it wasn't about the presents, it wasn't about it was a, the it food, was about the hands, having the a, it, was it was about, about having a heart defect yes, that actually exactly. could cripple you and you could die. Yeah. <sighs> but it grew so fast, he probably did die. He probably oh. did. Well, he's obviously on steroids. Yeah. One, one, my favorite of the Christmas Carol movies, though, has to be hands down the Muppets Christmas Carol. Haven't watched that this year. We'll be watching that. Um, love the songs. Love. love I used that. to like my, one of my so. favorites was the Drummer Boy, Little Drummer Boy. Yeah. And oh, he gives, he gives him the Rankin gives, Bass Drummer Boy. <laughs> dun, 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 the puzzle, the puppet one, or whatever. It yeah, is. the Rankin Bass. Yeah, is that what it is? Mm. I. I always get pissed off though because yeah, come on, you know Jesus gave His life for everybody, and your 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 gift to Him is playing the stupid drum. <laughs> I mean, come on, get any better than that? Come on! I haven't watched a Muppet movie in God, I bet thirty years. Really? Yeah. Oh, oh the, I love the Muppets. Did the Did dog I, have a Did the dog I, name have a name in the Grinch? I'm Max. Sure Max. Yeah, it was mm. Max. It was Max. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, it was basically an HBO commercial. My sister, right used, to there. Yeah. My sister mm -hmm. used to know me watch Muppets Take Manhattan all the time. Huh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, the, the, the first movie, the first Muppet movie, and then, um, but Muppets Christmas Carol, though, really is, is peak Muppets. And um, shame on Disney for not canceling Animal, yeah. <laughs> canceling Animal. Well, no, Cindy, you, know, you know, they had the, the uh, Animal, you know, had its one season one or whatever it was called. You know, Disney just came out with a new Muppet show kind of thing. It was oh, that. the Music Mayhem. The Music yeah. Mayhem, yeah, mm -hmm. and they canceled yeah. it after yeah. one season. Bastards. Well, you know the actual the Muppets dot the one that's kind of like a riff off the Office, uh, mm -hmm. which is on Disney Plus. It's worth a watch. It's actually, I think, pretty funny. Um, and their Christmas episode is also hilarious. Oh, Jack, do you do you have to go somewhere? Do you have to go? I know you said you went. Remember. <laughs> Oh, he, he just went. There it is. There you go. Oh, I think we almost made it to that two two hour Not mark. Not quite there. I, I was going to say my wife signed accident accidentally signed up for the Hallmark or Lifetime movie thing. <laughs> Whoops! I, I I can't get Apple Plus because you yeah, know, we got too many things. I go. So you signed up for for the Lifetime shows six nine nine, and they have all those hall the stupid hall. It's the same fucking same one, movie. Everything. Every yeah, movie is the same. Jack's like, I, whoops, I, I, I accidentally signed up for Pornhub. I'm not sure if I actually <laughs> ever sent it to you guys. Over. That's, that's actually one of the best memes about every Lifetime movie. It's like, young girl goes into a town, doesn't know anyone, chooses to trust a stranger that can either kill her or become right. her love interest. Yeah. You don't know. <laughs> and, yeah. and, and, so, we used to always do this. Like, what show are they in? What show? So Cindy goes like this. What show is she in? I go, I don't know. She goes, what show is she in? I go, I don't know. And she goes, Lost. I go, she was not in Lost. She thought it was Claire. I go, that's not the actress that played Claire. No. She goes, oh, that's right. She was in my show, Nashville. <laughs> I go, you know what? You're playing the game wrong. Because <laughs> the game is, okay, I need to know who that person really was, what show they were in. So what she's been, she, I think Sunday she just sat there and watched Hour after hour of lifetime. Well, she put up some Christmas decorations, but still, I don't even know, don't even know if Emily DeRaven even acts anymore. I haven't never really saw her in like a couple of things after that. I think she just said, "Fuck it, yeah, I'm lost. I don't want to do it anymore." She she said that she wanted to do a, a TV show series called Found. P okay. P the longest. <laughs> I've got. 
Hey, I've got a we... pee. I've got a pee. It's dripping down to my D. Had too much beer last night. I got a pee. <laughs> Don't we have to take another commercial break? Because we're at like two we hours. We should, now. but we're already uh, at the end. So let's let's take a commercial break. Bow, 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 bow. Now, Ray. Randy, who's stayed up all the whole show. Thank you, Randy. Randy, you're really sleeping has. by now. He clearly <laughs> has extends or Viagra working for him. I don't. I, I saw a clip of Paul McCartney singing "Let It Be" like yesterday. I've got a pee. I've got I don't a know. Pee. I don't know if you saw that. It, it it made me sad it's because it's the first time I've ever seen Paul me. actually be old. Oh. You know? And like he sounded like an old man singing. And I was like, oh man, Paul's getting old. Well, uh, he's still working. I mean, I know, he, but... he can't because most singers, let's face it, when they lose their voice, they, they yeah. say, OK, I'm I'm going to retire. I'm done. But Paul McCartney has ten billion dollars, you know, but it's, it's got just, nothing better but it's, to do. It's, it's like it's like when, you know, Sean Connery and uh, Gene Hackman and all them like they retire from acting and you don't see him for 20 years. And all of a sudden you see some photo of them at like a soccer match or something. Yeah. Like, Fuck. Gene Hackman got old. And you're like, what the hell happened? Right. Like, you just don't. Yeah. Oh, don't watch your heroes. He slept for the first 45 minutes. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, Gene Hack. Well, Gene Hackman is old. He's like ninety something. Mm-hmm. And why do we have to I take know. photos of him if he doesn't want his picture taken? Leave him alone. Don't leave him alone. Okay. Leave him alone. He's leaving you alone. Yeah. He couldn't. He didn't leave and now we'd alone. like to leave this show alone. All right, we, we're at two minutes and forty five seconds. Randy, thank you for pushing us and making us work harder for, for the millions money. that we make on this show. Um, and if you want to help, glad us make have a song because they don't want to take like another. Five minutes. Yeah, exactly. If you want to help us make even more money, yes, please. We're making now, and we're not we're not members of Congress where we get tips on the stock market. No, we should. No, we don't. We don't go in making you know being worth like a hundred thousand. Come out. Being but if you're like a patron that wants million. to give us tips on the stock market, yeah, go I over would. to jandjack.com and make that happen. Yeah, I told you about this great penny stock that's worth investing in. It's called the J and Jack uh, Productions. Yeah. I, I I wouldn't invest in that. That's just that's, that's stock, just me. Yeah. It's 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 dead man walking. Uh, Emily Driving was in 117 episodes of Once Upon a Time. Was she in okay. that many episodes? Oh, okay. Well, Once Upon a Time, we were going to end the show. Yeah, and if you'd like to become a patron, go to jandjack.com, become a patron. I think Nick already said that, but hey, this time we're going to thank Eckhart Rickner, Glaffler, Maggie, the magnificent. Thanks for the email. And even though you tried to upset me, I didn't get upset. Um, didn't, didn't work. Joanne with a plan and Ed, the creepy poopy letter carrier. Thanks for what you're doing. Thanks for everyone who joined us in the chat. We enjoy all your comments and we're going to leave now. We're leaving. We're so going to pee. So it's long, over. Farewell. It's over. Go home. Leave. Good night. All beaters ain't. Yep. Good night. Thank you. Good night, everyone. God bless. <laughs> See ya. Oh, Merry Christmas. The old podcast and you. <laughs>